This is Retro Sports Radio. Visit RetroSeasons.com for more sports history. The Dallas Cowboys faced the Miami Dolphins at the Orange Bowl in Miami during Week 10 of the 1978 NFL season. The game takes place on November 5th, and both teams entered the game with a 6-3 and record. This is the local Dallas radio broadcast featuring announcers Vern Lundquist and Brad Sham. Dolphins have won the toss and will receive, so we'll get a very early look at what their offensive line will indeed be. But as you've been hearing all week, if you're a Cowboy fan and reading all week, if you've been reading the Dallas Metroplex newspapers, the time, as Vern said, for talking has come to a conclusion for the Cowboys, but also the uh, back-to-the-basics approach is what we've heard so much about. And we'll talk about that during the game, but much was made of the fact that the Cowboy coaches apparently uh, took a good hard look last weekend when they had some extra time at the offensive game plans especially and decided to simplify things just a shade. We'll see. Raphael Septien getting ready to tee it up. Duriel Harris is back to receive the kickoff for the Miami Dolphins. Doomsday figures to get onto the field first this afternoon. Can't say that for sure anymore, the way things have gone lately, but we'll find out. At any rate, as the Cowboys get ready to kick it off and the Dolphins get ready to put it in play first with the play-by-play for this afternoon's game between the Dallas Cowboys and the Miami Dolphins. Here's Vern Lundquist. Thank you, Brad. We want to welcome members uh, of the Armed Forces around the world who have joined us today on the Armed Forces Radio Network. Good to have all of you listening. We trust we will have a good ball game today. Rafael Septian will kick off. We've got Duriel Harris, Jimmy Cephalo, and Gary Davis deep for the white-clad Miami Dolphins. The Cowboys are in blue this afternoon, but they have pretty well destroyed the thought about that being a jinx. Here's Septian's approach. Fairly low kick will be taken by Harris one yard back. He's out to the five, center of the field at the 10, the 15, the 20. Now cuts to his left. Watch him run. Septian chases him, makes first contact, and Dennis Thurman knocks him out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Septian saved a bunch with his first contact. Our officiating crew today, Gordon McCarter is the referee, the umpire Tony Kramer, the headlinesman Jerry Seaman, I'm going to save the line judge for last, the back judge Ray Douglas, the side judge Bill Quinley, the field judge Armin Terzian, and Dallas fans will remember the line judge from the Orange Bowl here in Miami, Super Bowl V, Jack Betty, who made the infamous fumble call on Dwayne Thomas down near the three when Dave Manders came up with the ball. It's first down 10, Miami at the 27. Bob Greasy under Jim Langer, the center. Regular set in the offensive backfield, and Greasy will throw on first down. Four-man rush, he's got all day. Goes deep left side, it's caught. First down by Duriel Harris at the 43-yard line. Greasy could have taken a nap in the offensive backfield. So he goes to the air on the first down 10 play and picks up 14, 15 yards. Bob Kuchenberg at left tackle. Ed Newman at left guard. Jim Langer, the center. Larry Little at right guard. Mike Curran at right tackle, and Andre Tillman from Dallas Lake Highlands High School is the tight end. Matt Moore and Duriel Harris, the wide receivers. Norm Bulash and Delvin Williams, along with Bob Greasy in the offensive backfield. First down, 10 at the 44. Langer over the ball, up and down, set the handoff, right side. Delvin Williams cuts up field, hit and drops at the 47-yard line by Randy White. Picked up about three. Defensively for the Cowboys, Ed Jones, Jethro Pugh, Randy White, and Harvey Martin. The linebackers are Thomas Henderson, Bob Brunig, and Dee Lewis, Aaron Kyle, and Mark Washington on the corners, and Cliff Harris and Charlie Waters in the secondary. We may as well tell you early about us, and we'll do it after this play, about a statistic that we uncovered without just a heck of a lot of work about Delvin Williams. Second down, seven. Dolphins at their own 47-yard line. Early moments of the game, Tillman goes lined up tight to the left side. Waters follows him over there. And here's Greasy to throw. No blitz by the Cowboys. Greasy comes in the right flat. Caught by Delvin Williams. Takes the tackle to the 50. To the 40, to the 30. Now being chased by Waters at the 20 and caught from behind at the 11-yard line. Brunig had him wrapped up at the 50-yard line. He shook the tackle and it's a first down 10. Miami at the 11. Of course, that's the kind of running, even though that was a pass reception, the kind of running that has made Delvin Williams the number one ball carrier in the lead coming into this game, and as uh, we can see on what passes for our Magnavox monitor today, Brunig was there and had him, and Henderson was in the area, and Williams, who of course came in the trade with San Francisco, got away, and a defensive mistake has left the Dolphins in great position now at the Cowboys 16. Moore and Harris both go wide to the left side. Big split, Tillman is tight right, Greasy is two for two. Looks into the eyes of Bob Brunig, 
Long count by Bob Greasy. Drops straight back, looks left, Cox fires, man open. It's caught at the two and out of bounds. Dario Harris beat Aaron Kyle. It'll be second down and one at the two-yard line. That was a little square out in a hurry. And the only thing that kept that from being six points was that the ball was up in the air long enough that Harris had to wait for it to come down. That gave Kyle time to get over. Harris made the catch, turned around, planted his feet, and Aaron had just enough angle that he was able to push him out about the two. But we've seen uh, Duriel Harris open a couple of times on that side now. And, of course, the one big play, if you just joined us, as they bring the chains across to measure, if you missed a play or two, the, uh, the Dolphins have hit Duriel Harris twice inside of Aaron Kyle, and then the big one was the rambling pass play to Delvin Williams, in which uh, he got away from Bob Brunig and picked up, oh, just another 40 yards or so on the thing. They have measured and discovered that the Dolphins have indeed made first down, and they'll have four shots to go about a yard and a half. Laird McCreary comes in as an extra tight end, third year pro from Tennessee State. He will join Andre Tillman. And here come the Dolphins, threatening early in the game. We've only run off two and a half minutes so far. McCreary to the right side, and Tillman to the left. There's a slot man, that's Nat Moore. I set behind Bob Greasy. Delvin Williams, a deep back. Boulash up short. The handoff goes to Delvin Williams, met and driven down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. The thing we started to say about Williams a moment ago, he's, uh, he's got 887 yards on the year. That's the best in the league. And uh, the interesting thing about his statistic is that Half, almost half of his yardage on something like five out of every eight plays. No, that's the other way. It's, five, it's like almost 600 of the 800 yards on half of his carries have come on first down. And he has made 14 first downs running on first down. Long yardage, late downs. You're not going to see Williams with the ball much. They are back at the line of scrimmage on second and goal from the one. Again, the double tight end set. This time a regular set behind Bob Greasy. Greasy has it. Hand off Boulash. Touchdown, Miami. Left guard, six points. Didn't take long. No. Lightning has struck in a hurry. And the orange bowl. And little white handkerchiefs are being waved everywhere by doll fans, as I'm sure they like to call themselves. But again, the, the keys were the two pass plays to Duriel Harris, but the big one was Williams getting away from Brunig on the little pass in the flat. Bulash checks it in for the six, and Garo Yapunian is on to try the extra point. They'll kick toward the Dolphin in the end zone to the south. Yapremian, the left-footed kicker. Long count. Here's the snap, and Yapremian's kick. He hammers it home. There's a timeout on the field with our score. Miami 7, the Cowboys nothing. Dallas Cowboy football will continue after this word. Dolphins go 73 yards. It took them three minutes and five seconds, and they have cracked the scoreboard first. 7 0. Miami leads. 11.55 to go first quarter. Bush Johnson and Lois Pack Blackwell back to receive your premium kick. Gorgeous day here in Miami. 80 degrees, no wind, no clouds. Here's your premium with the whistle from Gordon McCarter. Short kick. Johnson comes up. It'll be Blackwell at the 13. Blackwell to the 20. 25 up to the 30. Flag is thrown as he is knocked down at the 32 yard line. We could have a clipping call. is made by Charles Cornelius, but there is a flag on the play that could cost the Cowboys half the distance. That's it. Nice start. <laughs> well, good thing they had a few extra days to rest up for this one. Yeah, right. Well, of course, you, I mean, as much as you hate to see it, if you're a Cowboy fan, you can't be terribly surprised when Greasy comes out and picks you apart real early. Although, again, it was a missed tackle that let Williams get away. But uh, penalties like this, the Cowboys are going to have to avoid. Here's the call. This is a foul. Number 59 receivers during the return. Well, they got Guy Brown. I didn't know Gordon was going to be up here with us today. I knew that, and I surprised you with it. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. First down, 10 for the Cowboys. They've got it now at their own 17-yard line. Drew Pearson and Butch Johnson, or Tony Hill, rather. Tony is starting despite the twisted knee. They go to the left. Newhouse and Dorsett in the backfield behind Staubach. The handoff, Newhouse coming left. Looks for a block, doesn't get it. He is caught for a loss of one yard. Newhouse and Donovan, or Dorsett and Donovan, were out there trying to find somebody to block. There were people there, but they couldn't get to him. Curtis Johnson made the tackle. Offensive lineup for the Cowboys, Tony Hill and Drew Pearson, Billy Joe Dupree, a tight end. Rayfield right on the right tackle, Tom Rafferty at right guard, John Fitzgerald the center. Herb Scott and Pat Donovan complete the offensive line. Staubach the quarterback, Dorsett and Newhouse 
in the offensive backfield. It'll be second down, 11 Cowboys break and come up. Hill comes to the left side against Curtis Johnson. And uh, there are three men in the backfield. Now Drew Pearson goes in motion out of the backfield wide right. Staubach hands it off the door set. Driven down, no gain. May have fumbled on the play. He did. There is a Miami recovery. Herndon Herter made a tremendous defensive play. He exploded from around the left side into the middle where Dorsett carried the ball. And as as uh, you perhaps heard Robert Newhouse say earlier in the week on our on our uh, talk show at a restaurant, Robert said a lot of guys are trying to tackle the ball now when they tackle Tony. And that's exactly what Den Herter did. He reached an arm in there, grabbed the ball, as well as grabbing Tony. It was a tremendously explosive defensive play. Stripped the ball free. Dolphins recover, and they've got it at the 15 again. 7-0 lead. This has a feeling of deja vu over the Thursday night game against Minnesota. High formation behind Bob Greasy on first down 10. Miami leads at 7-0. They're knocking on the door again. Greasy, pitch out left side. Delvin Williams wiggles outside. Is caught and dropped for a loss of one. Nice defensive play by Mark Washington. It'll be second down, 11. Of course, last Thursday night, a week ago, Larry Brinson fumbled the opening kickoff, and then Dorsett fumbled on the 38-yard line in the Cowboys' first series. And Minnesota went up 14-0 quickly in that game, and Miami is threatening to do exactly that here this afternoon. 11.06 to go first quarter. Harvey Martin clapping his hands, urging his teammates on. It's second and 11. Greasy is perfect so far. He is uh, three for three for 69 yards. Andre Tillman comes tight to the right side, and there's a wide split behind Bob Greasy on second down. He drops straight back to throw. Four-man rush, goes right, has a man open, caught at the five. Scissor tackle at the one-yard line. It's first down goal, Miami. The tackle is made by the tight end, Andre Tillman. Tillman ran a great pattern, and Greasy, of course, as he does so well, put the ball right on the money. And Tillman just curled in front of Cliff Harris, the free safety, who picked him up at about the two, but the ball was over Tillman's shoulder. It couldn't have been thrown any, any better. First down, goal, Miami. They were just here a minute ago. 10-15 to go first quarter. Here come the Dolphins. Greasy is four for four now for 84 yards. Double tight end set. McCurry to the left side. Andre Tillman to the right. Matt Moore in the slot. Boulash and Delvin Williams in the backfield. Bob Greasy has it, handoff Boulos, same play, didn't get in. He's caught at the one. Thomas Henderson up around the shoulders to make the tackle. That is the same play they scored on a couple of minutes back. Great tackle by Henderson, who wrapped him up strong as well as high, and then Brunig came over and helped finish him off, but there, Thomas just looked like he didn't want to let Storm and Norman come through that hole. Picked up about the length of the football on the play. Cowboys have their goal line defense in, of course, which means Cliff Harris is out, there's an extra linebacker in. Here come the Dolphins again. McCreary to the left side and Tillman to the right. And the slot on the right side. Bob Greasy starts the count. Now has it. Hand off Boulash. Driving. Did he get in? There is one signal from a player, but none from the officials. I don't think so. Nope, he did not. It'll be third and goal from the one. Vern Henderson was in there again, although I'm not sure Thomas wasn't the second man to the ball. Brunig was number one. Brunig and Henderson cut him off up the middle. It will be third down and goal. They're the length of the football away from the end zone. Dolphins huddle back at the 10. Cowboys break their defensive huddle. Up front, Harvey Martin, Randy White, Jethro Pew, and Ed Jones. Here comes Miami. They have the 7-0 lead and a third and goal from the one-foot line. Again, the slot to the right side. Boulash directly behind Bob Greasy. Williams to the left. Greasy has begun the count. As it hands it off to Delvin Williams, drives and scores of a right guard. It's 13-0 Miami. Larry Little, of course, is not all pro every year for nothing, and that's a typical Larry Little block, power drive block, and Williams went right in over the back. And uh, Williams, just checking the statistics, he's only been in the end zone about a million times all year. That's his uh, fifth touchdown rushing, and he's caught a couple as well. Here's Yepremi in to try the extra point. Don Strzok will hold as Miami tries to go up 14-0. This is exactly what happened against the Vikings. Here's Yepremian's kick, and he has got it. There's a timeout on the field with our score. Miami 14 and the Cowboys nothing. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. 
play with eight minutes and 44 seconds remaining in the first quarter. It took six minutes for Minnesota to score two times on the Thursday night game. The Dolphins have done it in five minutes and 16 seconds. It's 14-0. Miami has the lead, and Euphremian will kick off again. Blackwell and Butch Johnson wait for it near the 10-yard line. Gordon McCarter has his hand raised up right. Here comes Euphremian. A squib kick by Euphremian, taken on the fly by Randy White. White to the 30. White wiggling to the right side is up and out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Pretty good run by the big defensive tackle. Little swivel hips. So the Cowboys get it for the second offensive series. They fumbled the last time. They didn't. Dorsett did. There's a sign in the stands here today that says, we're going to take the corset off Dorsett. Or corset off Dorsett, as it should be. As it should be. The most telling statistic coming into the game, Cowboys minus eight in the takeaway giveaway department. Dolphins lead the league with a plus 12. Now it's 13. First down 10 at the Cowboy 40 will officially call it because the length of the football is across the 39. Starbuck to throw. Two steps back, right flat. It's caught by Dupree at the 42, and he's belted down after a gain of about three. That was a great catch because... Kim Bocamper, who may be one of the best outside linebackers in the league, certainly is the strongest, I should think, was all over Billy Joe. He found a way to hang on, and Bocamper tried to strip him of the ball and couldn't. They you know, burn Bocamper with his size and strength. Even though the Dolphins play the three-man front, he's almost like another defensive end. It's second down seven. Dallas at their own 42-yard line. Regular set behind Staubach. Now Dorsett uh, shifts into the eye. Staubach has it, handoff door set. Tony met at the line, knocked down, no game. Bob Baumhauer, the nose guard, second year pro out of Alabama. Let's set that Miami defense for you, the 3-4 defense. Burn Dan Herter at left end, Bob Baumhauer in the middle, A.J. Dewey on the right end. The linebackers are Kim Bocamper, Bob Matheson, Rusty Chambers, and Larry Gordon. The cornerbacks, Norris Thomas and Curtis Johnson, and the safeties are Tim Foley and Rick Volk. Third down. And six, Dallas, 7.26 to go first quarter. They trail 14-0. Drew Pearson and Tony Hill, both wide right. Cowboys go from the spread formation. Miami showing a blitz look. Here's the snap, it's low. Staubach picks it up, blitzes on, he rolls out to his right. Pulls up, going deep, way downfield. For Dupree, he is open and his pass is overthrown. Dupree gave up on the ball. Billy Joe apparently never saw it. Norris Thomas, the cornerback, is jumping up and down claiming offensive pass interference, but uh, they were jockeying together for position, and I, I think you're right, Vern. He, he probably never saw it because with the shadows extending over that half of the field, he's looking right into the sun. Staubach, for one thing, was lucky to get away from the blitz of Bull Camper and then put the ball up there, and, and Thomas kind of slowed up on his coverage. I thought Billy Joe might have a chance to pull it down, but that was obviously the point when he had not seen it, so Danny White will come on and punt. Jimmy Cepelo is the deep man for Miami, the deep man of three, eight-man front. Here's the snap for White. Danny kicks it up to the right side. Nice kick. He's angling toward the corner. Cepelo has it at the six. To the 10. Comes right to the 15. He is up near the 17-yard line. A flag is also thrown. As Henderson uh, calls for a clip, and I think Miami may be found guilty of clipping. There is a flag down. Kick of 50 yards for Danny White who's really in a groove right now. Boy, isn't he, though? Cepelo, I remember the first time seeing Cepelo was, it is, by the way, a clip against Miami. First time I saw Cepelo was when he was a freshman on the Penn State team that played Baylor in the Cotton Bowl in January of 75, I guess it would be. No, that, is that right? No, that can't be right. Yeah. 74 season. Yeah, 74 season. Here's the call. on Gerald Small, rookie from San Jose State. Go right ahead. Well, no, don't. There's a timeout. There's a timeout to deal with our score. The Dolphins 14 and the Cowboys nothing. Dallas Cowboy football continues after this word. Dolphins get it back for the third time here in the first quarter. This time they've got uh, fairly in decent field position. They are at the seventh following the clip call. 6.52 to go first quarter. Anyway, to say there's a lot of time. Yeah, go yeah. ahead which will fill some of that time here. Uh, when he was a freshman on that Penn State team that, that played in and won the Cotton Bowl and uh, did a lot of things for Joe Paterno's club. It was a kind of a wing back wide receiver and uh, and he's really done pretty well with the Dolphins. He uh, returns a lot of kicks and catches and he's also got to be the only rookie in the NFL who's already written the book. By 
photography at the age of 22, huh? I'll tell you what. First down, 10. Greasy has him at the line with a double tight end set, eye formation in the backfield. Bob Greasy calls the count, hands it off to the short man. That's a new fullback in there. And... Waters on the tackle. I'm going to find out who it was here in a second. Didn't see who carried it. Maybe Braxton. I believe it is Jim Braxton. No, Leroy not. Harris. Oh, Leroy's come back in. All right. There we go. They, they've got three fullbacks, and they move them in and out because Leroy Harris has not been healthy all year. And Braxton they got from Washington by a Buffalo. Gain of one, second down nine at the eight-yard line. I set this time. One wide receiver wide to the left side. That's Nat Moore. Here's Leroy Harris again, driven down by Randy White at the 11-yard line. It'll be third down and five or six depending on where they spot the ball. White with the tackle, and we'll have third down for the Dolphins. They lead 14-0 with six minutes to go in the first quarter. Now they're going to take out uh, tight end McCrary, and they're going to bring in Cephalo and Harris, take out the, the fullback. They're going to take out both their tight ends and go with, uh, with a wing back and the two split receivers. So they got people running in pass routes all over the place. It's third down, and uh, we'll call it six. Dolphins at their own 11-yard line. Cowboys in the prevent defense. Here's Greasy handing off up the middle to Delvin Williams. He's caught at the 17, and I do not think he got enough for the first down. It'll be very close. Bob Kuchenberg is signaling first down, but they're going to bring the chain out. Cowboys have been victimized by that draw play many, many times. Randy White had some comments on Bob Greasy team player. He's an unselfish kind of a player. He'd just as soon run for a first down as pass for a first down. He's won a Super Bowl, so he has a lot of experience. He's been injured, and since he's been back with the team, they've gained a lot of momentum, and uh, when he's in there, he has a lot to mind with Dolphins football team. And in the background, the cheers indicate that they just got the first down by about two inches. So the Dolphins keep going now with the first down at their own 17. Williams crossed them up draw play on third down. you got to give Greasy a lot of credit on that situation. They're looking past. They've sent in, obviously, the passing team, taken out the tight ends, brought in the extra wing back, and he calls the draw play, and it works. Greasy asked the crowd to be quiet as the Dolphins break the huddle and come up. Duriel Harris wide right, Nat Moore wide left. Greasy play action. Pulls out to the right side, completes the pass to Duriel Harris, but he is caught and dropped at the line of scrimmage. A nice play by Mark Washington. Gain on the play. Greasy has been perfect so far. He's six for six. Not a bad start. We've probably got a portent of things to come in the middle of the line on that play as the, as the play came to the strong side. Randy White got a double team block from the guards, Larry Little and Ed Newman, and got put on his back, which two men on you will do from time to time. Second down, we'll call it 10. This time Harris again wide right and Nat Moore wide left and Greasy straight back to throw. They fired out to the left side. It is caught. Here's the completion coming up to the 25 to 27 yard line. Norm Bulash, no, Leroy Harris made the catch. Couldn't see out there. A little running back out of the backfield. They may have gotten another first down. The reason that, that uh, we are pausing from time to time as we try to spot these people way, way down there, the thing you can say about our booth is that it's small, but it sure is far away. <laughs> Listen, I have done two games from here, one on the roof and one from a cardboard shack to the right of the press box. So all things considered, this may be better. Although I've never known you quite so well. <laughs> first down and 10. At the 27-yard line, Dolphins have picked up 20 yards on the current series. Both wide receivers wide to the right side, and Greasy is going to throw again. Lots of time. Flips it out in the right flat. The cut was made by Duriel Harris, and he slipped when he made the cut. And the first incomplete pass for Greasy this afternoon. Cowboys have not gotten much of a pass rush on Greasy yet at all. And, and Vern, they're, they are missing some tackles. Obviously, Brunig missing uh, Delvin Williams on the, on the long uh, pass out in the flat. That's helped set up the first touchdown, but uh, the play before last, Leroy Harris put a little move on Aaron Kyle, who had a shot at him, and he got away. And, and you almost can see the confidence of the Cowboy defense slowly eroding a little bit. Second down and 10 at the 27-yard line. 14-0 Miami leading, 3.29 to go first quarter. Andre Tillman comes tight to the right side, Texas Tech graduate. Greasy will throw again. Here comes the four-man rush. He's got time. Man wide open out to the flat. It's Delvin Williams at the 40. To the 45. First down at the Miami 46. 
He was absolutely all by himself. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is the Dallas Cowboys Radio Network. The Dallas Cowboys defend their Super Bowl title this year on KTAR Phoenix. current rate, Bob Greasy will pass for 452 yards this afternoon. He's got 113 already in the first quarter. He's 7 out of 8. It's first down 10 at the 46. Leroy Harris directly behind Greasy. He gets the handoff. Darts through. There's a flag thrown as Harris is caught at the 49 of the Cowboys by Jethro Pugh. They have a call against the Dolphins on this play. They are retreating. And it's a holding call against Miami. By the way, uh, those of you listening on our mutual radio network today, you're getting a double mutual broadcast. <laughs> We've got some other mutual folks right next to us. And so periodically, if you can hear voices in the background, which I certainly can, yeah. that's who it is. Yeah, they're, they're doing a national deal for the states. Wait a minute, here's a call. Number 62, offense, repeat first down. Jim Langer. All pro center, Jim Langer. A, a, a national broadcast that reaches the states outside of our network area, and I'm not sure they even really need the microphone <laughs> to reach Delaware and Augusta, Maine, and all those other places. I remember a game I did earlier this year for ABC and put the headsets on, and in my left ear, the local radio broadcast was there through the duration of the game. That got a little confusing. That'll improve your concentration. That's right. It's first down and 20. Greasy will throw. Blitz is coming. He's going deep across the middle. Tillman's out there all by himself. Has the ball at the Cowboy 31. Charlie Waters let him go. Tillman with a huge game. As Vern said, they beat the Blitz. And be I guess because of the Blitz, they probably had to adjust their coverage responsibility because you don't normally see the strong safety on the other side of the field from the tight end. But Tillman worked a post from the left side. Looked like Charlie Waters was picking up an area of responsibility on the other side. And boy, was Andre Tillman all the way. Matter of fact, Charlie made a heck of a tackle to keep him from breaking it all the way. First down 10 at the Cowboys 31. Miami has driven now from their own seven-yard line to this spot of acreage. Greasy, high formation. Up and down set. Why not? He'll throw again. Looks deep. He is caught and finally dropped at the 41. Cowboys get a sack. Sack is made by Thomas Henderson blitzing on the play. Greasy is eight out of nine for 146 yards. Well, he's hitting like 63%, almost 64% coming in. And his average per attempt, what is it that they like to have that they shoot for as a goal? Plus six. six. Well, yeah. his average per attempt coming in was 7.4. And he's not going to hurt it any today. If he quits right back, Don Strzok may start warming up soon. Second down and 19 at the 40, we'll call it officially the 40-yard line of the Cowboys. And here come the Dolphins. Duriel Harris goes left. Nat Moore comes right. Aaron Kyle will work on him. As the Cowboys have switched their cornerbacks. Kyle is on the left side and Mark Washington on the right. Here's Greasy back to throw. He goes across the middle. Tillman is open again. Waters makes the tackle. But they pick up a bunch and they've got a third down at the 27. That was obviously Charlie Waters' responsibility. Although I'm just trying to figure when you're looking at a, at a second down and 20 as they were. I'm sure the Cowboys were in a zone coverage. Normally, I, I, you know, I mean, if I knew enough about that, the way they play that flex, you know, I'd probably be down there coaching, which I obviously don't. But normally, in a second down and twenty like that, you're in a you're in a zone, and Waters had to come in out of his zone to get Tillman. But there's got to be a breakdown, Vern, when the guy's that all alone. Third down and six, three wide receivers in again. Greasy now nine out of ten for 159 in the first quarter. Up and down set, he'll throw. Looks right, blitzes on, flips a pass out short for Bulaj. It's fourth down. Cowboys had Henderson coming that time. And it'll be fourth down, and Gerald Euphremian will come on to try and make it 17 to nothing. The drive finally stalls, but they went from their own seven to the Cowboy 27. And Euphremian will try and tack on a three-pointer with 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Can you vote for a guy all-world at his position when he only plays half the season? He's looked that way today, hasn't he? The kick will come from the 35-yard line. It will be a 45-yard field goal from the right hash mark, or left hash mark, rather. Cowboys only have 10 men on the field. Now, here comes Brunig late. 
He's on the field now. Here's the snap, a little high. Yefremian gets the kick on the way, and it's got plenty of distance. It is good. From 45 yards out, Yefremian has made it 17 nothing. There's a timeout on the field with our score. Miami 17, the Cowboys zip. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. Back to play in the Orange Bowl with 14 seconds to go in the first quarter. The Cowboys are still looking for their first first down, and Miami has 17 points. It's 17 zip. And Yefremian is getting set to kick off again. Last time he kicked short. Alois Blackwell and Bush Johnson are deep in case it gets back that far. Gordon McCarter, hand up raised, and we'll wait for the whistle now. Here comes Yefremian. Squib kick again. It'll bounce at the 17, taken by Butch Johnson at the 10. To the 20, 25, tries to get outside. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Laird McCreary made the tackle. First down, 10 Dallas at their own 29. Looking for their first first down of the game. Greasy is now 9 of 11 for 159. Starbuck 1 out of 3 for 3. time of possession so far, 12 minutes and 32 seconds for Miami, 2 minutes and 14 seconds for the Cowboys. Oh, that's called domination. First down 10, Staubach has him at the line of scrimmage. Newhouse and Dorsett in the backfield, Newhouse directly behind Staubach, play action. Roger rolls out to his right, pulls up, can't find anybody, Bo Camper has him, hauls him down, a flank is thrown. Kim Bo Camper with the tackle, we could have had a face mask over there, I'm not sure. That is the last play of the quarter, but we'll see what the flag is. Face mask against the Dolphins. So that'll move the ball downfield. They will step off five yards, unintentional face mask. And that is the end of the quarter with our score. Miami 17, the Cowboys nothing. Dallas Cowboy football continues after this word. back for the second quarter from the Orange Bowl in Miami. The Cowboys trailing 17-0 have gone the first 15 minutes of the game without picking up a first down 10. You know, in a way, this is even more distressing than the game against Minnesota Thursday night because the Cowboys really got it together after the first six minutes in that game. And, of course, they haven't had a chance to get it together, but defensively they haven't. The, the Dolphins are just shoving it right down their throats. Certainly so far. Time of possession once again in that first quarter, 12.32 to uh, 214, 224 actually, when you tack on the final 10 seconds that uh, elapsed in that last play. Well, the role of an analyst is to analyze, and now Brad Sham will tell us what's going on. <laughs> oh, I'll get you for that. <laughs> we got enough road trips left, I'll get you for that. <laughs> what's going on, very simply, is that the Miami Dolphins are playing better football today than the Dallas Cowboys. That's that old on any given Sunday business. Yeah, you <laughs> betcha. You betcha. <laughs> Here come the Cowboys, first down 10. They did pick up a first down on the uh, face mask violation. They've got the ball at their own 34. They have not been across midfield yet. Dorsett to the right side, Newhouse to the left. Dupree is in a slot, now comes in motion. The handoff to Tony Dorsett up the middle, squirts out to the 40, picks up six yards. It'll be second down and four. Rusty Chambers made the tackle in that 3-4 defense. That's that little tight end in motion play that the Cowboys like to run, and you can watch it usually when, when you see the tight end come in motion late in the snap count, and he, he comes in motion about to the middle of the line, Watch him block down, which is what Billy Joe did, and then the tailback is going to come right through that hole, and that's where he got six yards on that play. Second down and four, and Jackie Smith comes in the lineup as an extra tight end. He is tied right to free to the left side. Staubach, hand off Newhouse. Robert steps into a tackle, then out of it, and he is caught just short of the first down at the 43-yard line. As A.J. Dewey makes the stop, it'll be third down and one. One thing I can analyze is what's happening elsewhere in the league. There's no problem whatsoever. Final scores, Minnesota beat Detroit 17-7. New England hung on to beat Buffalo 14-10. Pittsburgh had 20-14. Is that correct? That's not... I like heard it. a different score from that. I heard 23-21 yeah. at one time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cardinals won again, beat the Giants 20-10. Third down and one, Cowboys. Double tight end set. Butch Johnson slot to the right side. Big split behind Staubach, and Preston Pearson is in the offensive backfield in place of Dorsett. Quarterback draw. Roger has the first down. He's across the 50. 
to the 49-yard line of the Dolphins. They may spot the ball at the 50. So Staubach picks up the first down on the keeper, and it's just inside Miami country at the 49-and-a-half-yard line. We just quickly look at some of the other scores. The first quarter, San Diego leading Cincinnati 3 to nothing. Fourth period, Cleveland 10, Houston 7. Fourth period, Philadelphia somewhat surprisingly with injured running backs leading Green Bay, who the Cowboys visit next week, 10-3. I'll give you a couple more in a minute. First down 10, Dallas. Dupree to the left side. Eye set behind the uh, quarterback. Now they shift. Now shift back into the eye. Roger Staubach has it. Play action. He fakes the door set. Goes back to throw up in the pocket. Hit as he lets it fly. Newhouse drops the ball. Was right in his midst. Roger did a tremendous job just to get rid of the pass. And he hit Newhouse right in the middle. And Robert dropped it. A couple of the scores quickly. Denver leading the Jets 14 to nothing. Fourth quarter, Oakland over Kansas City 14 to 3. Atlanta beats San Francisco 21 to 10. Seattle beat the Bears. Bye-bye Bears. 31-29. Seattle a final. Los Angeles leading Tampa Bay 3-0 in the first period. It is second down 10 here in the Orange Bowl. 17-0 Miami leading with 12.58 to go in the first half. Drew Pearson goes to the left side. And Tony Hill is wide right. I set. Stop off to throw. Three-man rush. Lots of time for Roger. Goes in the flat. The door set. He's one-on-one -on -one at the 50. Caught and dropped at the 50. It'll be third down and 10. Baumhauer, the defensive tackle, did not go for the hip fake of Tony Dorsett and made the stop. Here comes Burton Lawless with a play call in from Tom Landry. And the Cowboys also send Preston Pearson in the offensive backfield. They will go with a shotgun formation. And uh, the prevent defense now for the Miami Dolphins. And they're really in the same kind of spot they were last Thursday. The offense has to partially be dictated by the score. Absolutely. Tony Hill wide left, Drew Pearson wide right. And the spread formation. Now Preston Pearson goes back as a blocking back. John Fitzgerald snaps it back. Staubach drops back, goes across the middle, has Drew Pearson open for the first down at the 38-yard line. And Drew's string is now to 55 consecutive games in which he's caught a pass. Norman Thoris Thomas makes the tackle. Well, I don't know if this is uh, a portent, but it, it, that's the same play, the same pattern that Drew ran last play only on the other side. He ran it on the left side, the play before, the pass in the flat to Dorsett, and he was open both times, curling inside of Norris Thomas, so we might want to watch for that. First down 10 on the third down conversions. Dorsett is out, Preston Pearson is in. And the Cowboys have it at the 37 of Miami, their deepest penetration so far. They began this drive at their own 29. Up and down set for the Cowboys. They have a power eye formation. It's a wishbone now, but Drew Pearson breaks and goes to the left side. Staubach, play action, goes back to throw. Up, caught, and sacked at the 47-yard line. Burned and Herter got to him. And it's a loss all the way back to the 47. Looks like he was trying to set up a screen pass. The, the Dolphins had uh, five sacks of the Baltimore Colts last week in a relatively easy win that they had sewed up at halftime and just cruised the second half. And... And in this uh, game, what is that, two sacks already? 11.07 to go. First half, 17-0 Miami. Cowboys second down and 20 at the Miami 47. Here come the folks. Tony Hill goes left. Drew Pearson comes right. Ball is on the far hash mark. I set, now the shift in the backfield. Staubach hands it off the door set. Power sweep to the right side. Gets a block. Breaks the tackle, he's to the 45, his helmet is almost taken off, a flag is thrown. He's down at the 40, we may have uh, another face mask. I should think we'd have some kind of a call on Rick Volk, the free safety, who just took a swipe at Tony's uh, headgear. Burton Lawless leading on the sweep through a couple of pretty good blocks, and we do get the face mask call against Miami. And when we get the call up here momentarily, we ought to hear, I should think, that it's on number 21. Uh, Tony's head really snapped back once the contact was made. He was down at the 40. Now they'll step off five yards to the 35. And here is the call from Gordon McCarter. Face mask, number 21 defense, automatic first down. So the Cowboys get new life following the sack. They've got the ball at the 35-yard line of Miami. And I would think, uh, Mr. Sham, that you could call this a fairly critical drive. 
Well, the Cowboys have got to, as we've talked about in the past, establish, if nothing else, their own confidence that they can get on the board, and they got to do it in a hurry. Double tight end set for the Cowboys on first down, Miami 35-yard line. Drew Pearson goes in motion all the way across the offensive line, wide to the left side. The handoff up the middle of the door set. He is tackled and dropped after a gain of one. Bob Baumhauer, the nose guard, fought off the block of John Fitzgerald to make the stop. It's second down and nine, Cowboys, at the 34. Part of this uh, back-to-the-basics kind of a thing, the Lukenbach of football, is Bob Lilly had some interesting comments that people may hopefully have heard on the pregame show today. Bob said in 1970 when the Cowboys did that after they got embarrassed by the Cardinals on that Monday night game, what that involved offensively was a lot of zone blocking for the linemen. Just instead of a lot of fancy stuff, I'm going to block the guy in front of me. Now, I haven't really noticed a lot of that today. It's second down and nine. Newhouse in the backfield. Dorsett goes in motion wide left. Roger dances back to throw. Pumps it out in the right flat for Dupree, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. It'll be third down, about seven. Kim Bocamper makes the tackle. Pass is complete, but Billy Joe didn't have a whole lot of room over on the left side. Bob Matheson comes in now, and Steve Toll leaves. And now Charlie Babb comes in, so does Gerald Small, six defensive backs for the Dolphins. Well, Rusty Chambers comes out, and so does uh, Curtis Johnson. Third down, and seven Cowboys from the spread. At the Miami 32-yard line, they converted a third down 10 a moment ago. Fitzgerald over the ball. Three-man rush, four-man rush. Staubach back, drills it deep across the middle and is caught close for the first down at the 24-yard line. They may give Billy Joe Dupree the 23, and if so, the drive does stay alive. Tackle is made by Tim Foley. Well, that's, that should be a first, yeah, it is a first down. They're going to get in the 23 because uh, at the line of the uh, point that they had to reach was the 25, and he clearly caught the ball in advance of that point. So the Cowboys keep the drive alive, keep it moving. And they march down to the 23-yard line, and as Vern said a moment ago, boy, they just really have to have six points here. Tony Hill goes wide to the left side against Curtis Johnson. Drew Pearson comes wide right against Norris Thomas. I set in the offensive backfield. The handoff to Newhouse, straight up the center. Robert plunging across the 20, inside the 18 to the 17 as Baumhauer makes the stop. Ran behind Herb Scott that time. And, of course, not only do the Dolphins play that 3-4, which is a little bit different to defense than some things you see. Oh, they got just such great big people in there. What a job of drafting they've done over the last few years. That indeed. But ironically, they have been suspect defensively this year. They've got a great young defense, though. It's second down and four for the Cowboys. Gain of six on the last play. Dupree in motion wide to the left side now. Staubach has it. Pitch out Newhouse. Power sweep to the left. He's to the 15 and jammed up. Great open field tackle. It will be third and two. See, a lot of the defensive problems they had, though, came earlier in the year when Dewey was hurt, Baumhauer was hurt, Madison was hurt. You're talking about guys who are all playing again now. Yeah, that's right. Larry Gordon made the stop on the last play. It'll be third down, two at the 15-yard line. Cowboys trailing 17-0 with eight minutes to go in the first uh, half of play. They have controlled the ball now from their own 29 to the Miami 15. 17-0, Dolphins lead. Hill left side, Pearson wide right. Preston Pearson in the backfield in place of Dorsett. Roger Staubach in the cockpit, has it. Draw play, Preston Pearson comes right to the 10, to the 5. Driving first and goal, Dallas at the 3. He says he can run, you give him a chance and he shows that he can run. Tim Foley made the tackle. Very well executed draw. And Preston sliced up the middle and he had a great block from, Fritz, from Fitzgerald in the middle of things. And he had a lead block from Rayfield right. And then it's just that glide pattern, and he gets all the way down to the two-yard line, and the Cowboys with a chance to cash it in now on first down. And Preston Pearson stays in the offensive backfield. Dorsett is on the bench. It's first and goal at the two. Double tight end set. Staubach barking out the count. He audibles, and Newhouse shifts directly behind him. Roger now has it. Hand off Newhouse. Left guard jammed up. Knocked down. No gain. Curtis Johnson met him high. Had some help low. Preston came out of the backfield and shook a block onto Johnson and then peeled off to try to block down on the goal line. But Johnson rolling off that block and Newhouse ran right into his arms. May have lost a half a foot on the play. It'll be second down and goal from the two and a half yard line. Cowboys huddle back at the 10. 
Drew Pearson goes out. Here comes the Dallas offense, dressed in blue. Butch Johnson is in there now as a slot back. Jackie Smith tight right, Dupree tight left, Preston Pearson and Robert Newhouse with the running backs. Staubach again with the count. The handoff, Newhouse, left side, met and driven down, driven back to the four. Curtis Johnson again. It'll be third and goal from the four. Herb Scott had his lead block, but Johnson coming up from the secondary, rode behind that, got in, got a hand on uh, Robert, who tried to slide away to the left. And Johnson held him up just long enough to get some help. So now it is third down and a, a long four yards away. And Newhouse will come out as the Cowboys will put in their long yardage shotgun offense, I should think. Here come the Cowboys. Regular set. Preston Pearson, the lone setback with two wide receivers and two tight ends. It's third and goal from the four-yard line. Cowboys trailing 17-0. Staubach to throw. Looks left. He is caught and dropped back at the 12-yard line. A.J. Dewey, a sensational goal line stand by the Miami Dolphins. And the Cowboys will have to go for the field goal. A.J. Dewey ate Herb Scott's lunch on that play, and there wasn't any fancy stunt or blitz or cha-cha or red dog or anything else. Dewey just reached up and threw Scott to the ground and showing why he was the defensive rookie of the year last season. He just blew in and wrapped Staubach up and set the end will be on to try a 30-yard field goal. Charlie Waters will hold it at the 20. It's on the left hash mark. Cowboys have got to come out of this with something. Here's the snap and set the end's kick. It's up and it is good and the Cowboys are on the board. There's a timeout on the field with our score now. Miami 17 and the Cowboys 3. A sensational cheer for Miami as Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. Dallas Cowboys had possession of the football for 10 minutes and 9 seconds, and they come up with three points. They had a first and goal at the two and wound up with a fourth down at their own 12. But at least they did get on the board, and we've got 5.05 to go, and Miami's about to get it for the first time in the second quarter. Duriel Harris, Jimmy Cepelo, and Gary Davis are deep. Raphael Septian, who's now 6 out of 11 on field goals for the year, will kick it off. Jordan McCarter gives him the whistle. Septian approaches the ball. Goes to the left side. It bounces and goes out of bounds at the 10. We'll kick it again from the 30-yard line. The Dolphin deep backs alertly seeing the ball angling for the sideline. Wisely choose to let it go out of bounds. No serious error in judgment there. No, none whatsoever. A smart play by Gary Davis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can read sign language, absolutely. <laughs> I tell you, I was doing a college game in North Carolina State a couple of weeks ago and saw a kid named Wayne McQueen grab a kickoff and step out of bounds at the three. And I said, gosh, that's a serious error in judgment. I think I've seen something similar to that before this year. Nobody there knew what I was talking about either. <laughs> but we do up here. It's uh, the Cowboys kicking off at the 30. 17-3 with just under five minutes to go in the first half. And the shadow is beginning to lengthen dramatically in the Orange Bowl. The shadow, dude. the end will try it from the 30. And Duriel Harris moves up to the five, waiting for it. Here comes the approach by Septian. Straight down the middle this time. Harris, nice kick, has it at the one. Back to the five, to the 15. Now to the 20, 25, to the 30, and it's all down to the 31-yard line. Pretty good run back also. Aaron Kyle made the tackle. Miami gets it for the first time in this quarter, but they've still got a 14-point lead, 17 to three. You don't really expect to see uh, the kicker making great plays on the kickoff return, but had Septien turned around at about the 25-yard line, he would have seen Duriel Harris dancing ever so lightly right by him. Well, let's see what Mr. Greasy has in mind. He's 9 out of 11 for 159 so far. He sends Duro Harris wide left against Aaron Kyle, and Matt Moore is wide right against Mark Washington. Andre Tillman, who's caught three, comes over to the left side. Greasy looks out left, hands it off to Delvin Williams behind the line, caught and dropped back at the 27-yard line. Tackle made by Harvey Martin. It'll be second down and 13. Harvey made the tackle, but Didi Lewis helped bottle things up. He came out and neutralized Leroy Harris, the fullback. They both went to the ground, but it had to slow Williams up long enough for Harvey to come in and make the stop. Harvey doesn't seem to be affected by that knee injury. Then 
that he's had, but then on the other hand, the defense hadn't really had much chance to look at guys running at him. Greasy's been throwing it all day. Cowboys go to the prevent defense. Dennis Thurman and Randy Hughes come in. Benny Barnes apparently not going to play today. It's second down and 13. Greasy, 9 out of 11. Cowboys, four-man rush, draw play to Bulash. Right side gets the three back to the 30-yard line. It'll be third down and 10. Randy White and Cliff Harris. This is so much like what they did a week ago. They, As we mentioned before, they got a big lead on Baltimore and clearly had the game in hand to their satisfaction. We do have a Cowboy player down as the doctors come on out to uh, have a look at him. We'll tell you more about the what the Dolphins did uh, last week momentarily. There is a timeout on the field with our score. The Cowboys 3 and Miami 17. Dallas Cowboy football continues after this word. Ultra Seal. That's the magic word when you're looking for a guarantee that your new car will look like new for three years. Does that sound pretty exciting? Well, it's happening at new car dealers coast to coast. It's happening with new car dealers who offer the Ultra Seal finish and then give you a three-year written guarantee that your car will be protected against sun, snow, dirt, and salt. You'll never have to wax or polish. Just wash, and the luster sparkles like new. If you're a new car dealer who doesn't offer Ultra Seal, you're missing out. Get the facts. Write Ultra Seal, care of the mutual broadcasting system. Ultra Seal, a space-age paint sealant. Keep your new car showroom filled with smiling faces. Get the Ultra Seal story. Write Ultra Seal, mutual broadcasting system, Box 66, Radio City Station, New York. Ultra Seal, the finish with a future. Write Mutual Broadcasting System, Box 66, Radio City Station, New York, New York, 10019. Cliff Harris was the injured cowboy, and Brad, I think you thought it was his pinched nerve at his neck, right? Well, he, he ha has that thing that he really got in the second Giants game when he uh, made a tackle on Willie Spencer and hit him in the hip, and, and that kind of jammed a nerve in his neck, and it's recurred from time to time over the last few weeks. And I know from talking to Cliff, during any given week out of the practice field, he says it still bothers him a little bit in the way he walked off, Vern. His head was kind of bowed over, and he was holding his neck and shoulders, and it looked like that pinch nerve was bothering him. We're back to play now, third down and 10. Miami at their own 30-yard line with a 14-point lead. Randy Hughes is in place of Cliff Harris. Tillman comes to the right side, left side, rather. Greasy with a long count, hands it off to Delvin Williams. Power sweep coming left, and he's knocked down at the 35, and the Dolphins will have to kick. Bob Brunig and Randy Hughes made the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Again, this is, we started to say what they did last week. They, they got to the point against Baltimore where they felt they had the game in hand. They wrapped it up by throwing a touchdown pass off a fake field goal. And then, the rest of the way, the whole second half, they did that kind of thing. Third and ten, and they run it off tackle and take up some time and grind it out and uh, make the other guy play catch up against their defense. We will now look at George Roberts for the first time. He is the rookie punter for the Miami Dolphins, and Butch Johnson waits for the kick at the Cowboy 23. George Roberts will punt from the 20. Here's the snap, and the return is on. A left-footed kicker hangs it high. Nice kick. Butch Johnson has it at the 22, and he fumbles the ball. It's going to be chased and picked up by the Dolphins at the 7-yard line. cornerback down on Benny Barnes style punt coverage and you could see it coming and Butch never had a prayer there was no question about any yardage to be gained it was Cornelius who made the hit and Butch was hit so hard and Cornelius had such a great head of steam going that he jarred the ball loose the Dolphins fell on it and with just 240 left in the first half Miami gets a just a fabulous opportunity at the Dallas eight-yard line. Here come the Dolphins with a 17-3 lead. Josh, Jim Braxton is in the lineup with Delvin Williams. Big split behind Bob Greasy on first down goal. Jim Langer over the ball. Greasy has it, hands it off to Williams. He's nailed and buried by Ed Jones at the 12-yard line. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is the Dallas Cowboys radio network. The University of Arizona enters the Pac-10 here on KTAR Phoenix. Fourteen remaining, and the Dolphins are going to take their time and let it run down at a two-minute warning and get the uh, clock stopped at that spot. They've got a second down and goal from the 11. That's where the ball has been spotted. We have two minutes exactly remaining in the first half of play. 
There's a timeout on the field with our score. Miami 17, the Cowboys 3. Dallas Cowboy football continues after this word. Games, and we'll see if perhaps 
he gets a chance to run the ball, but the Cowboys are certainly not going to be running it here with 141 left. Yepremi and Waits, the lowest Blackwell and Butch Johnson are deep. Cowboys are now minus 10 in turnovers for the year. They came in minus 8. They've lost two today, both fumbles. Yepremian's kick, fairly short. Johnson at the 7, to the 10, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, and down at the 33-yard line. So the Cowboys get it 67 yards away. Bruce Hardy from Arizona State made the tackle. One of only two high school athletes ever put on the cover of Sports Illustrated magazine, Bruce Hardy from Bingham City, Utah. You know who the other one was? No way. Say that again. One of only two high school athletes in team sports, let me say. Rick Mount. That's exactly right. Very good. I'm proud of you. I thought I had a good trivia no, question. Sir, it was Rick Mount. You're in the big leagues. Hey. Bruce Hardy played at Arizona State. Was a quarterback at one time. First down and ten. Shotgun formation for the Cowboys. The snap back to the three-man rush. Roger looks for the screen pass to Preston Pearson. Wide open to the 40, the 45. Cuts left and is in Miami country at the 48. We've got 125 remaining. Larry Gordon made the tackle. Doesn't he do that well? Uh, you know, we just keep saying it over and over, but he keeps doing it over and over. And you just got to think here, boy, 20 to 10 sure looks a lot different than 20 to 3, doesn't it? 110 remaining in the first half. Cowboys go without the huddle. Again, the three-man rush. Staubach comes to the right flat for Preston. Get out of bounds, Mr. Pearson. He does and kills the clock at the 44-yard line with 103 remaining. Doesn't he do that well also? Yeah. You know, get out of bounds, that kind of thing. Boy, well, if they could find a way to get down there. They've come from further back than 10 points before. 63 seconds to go as I emulate the words of Tony Roberts. Echo. <laughs> Echo, yes. That's what I was doing on that game where I had the radio guy in my left ear. I'd say, first down 10, Montana State. And I'd hear him say, first down 10, Montana State. And I think I haven't said that. And I'd go, yes, first down 10, Montana State. Drive you fatty. Cowboys in the shotgun on second down and six. John Fitzgerald over the ball. Looks like it may be a blitz by the Dolphins. They are sending four men. Staubach is back to throw. Goes deep across the middle for Drew. And the pass is intercepted. There's a momentary break in the action, so let's pause. For this, you're listening to Dallas Cowboy Football. Here's a way you could help improve your car's mileage. The Motorcraft tune-up kit in a can. It's the one tested tough in Alaska. Each kit contains Motorcraft points and condenser, cam lube and spark plugs plus a feeler gauge and complete instructions. And there's a Motorcraft tune-up kit for most of the standard ignition cars on the road. Look for the familiar Motorcraft race car on the package. Get the tune-up kit in a can at Motorcraft suppliers throughout the Southwest. Cowboys' third turnover of the day halts what looked to be a good drive. Good interception by Foley, the strong safety. The ball overthrown for Drew Pearson by about a yard, but Foley and Drew had to make a, almost a standing dive, but still, Foley made a very good play, stepped in front of him, and was at the ball. And the Dolphins, you would guess, would, would just for the last 56 seconds maybe try to run it out, leading 20 to 3. Boy, well, Cowboys needed some points there, Vern. Yeah, even if they could have come out with just three more it would have been uh, beneficial because then they're only two touchdowns back with a half to play. But now they are 17 points down and the white guys uh, in the white uniforms have the football. That did not come out like I intended it to. And the blue guys yeah. do not have the football. Right. What he meant. First down 10 Miami. They've got it huddled back at the 15. Miami. Yeah. I'm tempted to sing Don Meredith's song. Yeah. But it may be a little premature for that. Yeah, let's not sing that yet. Not yet. Dolphins at the line of scrimmage. Cowboys in the prevent defense have everybody way back. Hand off Delvin Williams. He comes left. Knocked down at the 29-yard line. And Miami apparently will do as Brad suggested and will run out the clock. Harvey Martin made the tackle on that play. And the Cowboys have called timeout with 40... No, they haven't. The clock is still running with 39 seconds to go. And next week, another playoff caliber team quite perhaps the Green Bay Packers at Plush County Stadium in Milwaukee it was plush in 1847 when it was constructed 22 seconds to go in the first half 
three-man line for the Cowboys. Greasy hands it off to Delvin Williams again. Knocked down at the 31-yard line. It'll be third down with 12 seconds to go, and that'll be the last play of the first half. Mike Hegman was in there and made the tackle. Five seconds to go. It's 20 to three. Cowboys appear to be coming back in the second quarter, but could get only three points after a 10-minute drive. It's halftime with our score. Miami 20 and Dallas 3. Dallas Cowboy football continues in a moment. Carl Yuprenian taking off for the, for the second half. The Dallas Cowboys getting ready to return. And as we get the second half underway, here with a play-by-play is Vern Lundquist. Thank you, Brad. Carl Yuprenian will kick it. Cowboys need a touchdown drive early in the third quarter. Tom Landry's thesis that games are won and lost in the third quarter. We'll see. It's 20 to 3. Here's the kick. Butch Johnson at the 2. Up the near side of the 10, the 15, the 20, cuts back toward the center of the field, shakes a tackle, is knocked down at the 24. Cowboys take over, first down 10 at the 24-yard line. And they're booing for some reason. I guess maybe because they didn't recover a fumble on that play. First down 10, Dallas takes over. They trail 20 to 3, and we are just underway as darkness has set here in Miami. We'll play the second half in the evening. Newhouse and Dorsett back in the offensive line. Dupree, Rayfield Wright, Tom Rafferty, John Fitzgerald, Herb Scott, and Pat Donovan up close. Tony Hill comes wide to the right side. Drew Pearson goes wide left. Dorsett shifts as the deep back in the eye at the Cowboy 24-yard line. The handoff goes to Dorsett. Tony pops into the secondary, picks up five out to the 29-yard line. Run over left guard, the block on that side of Pat Donovan, Herb Scott, and Tom Rafferty as Tim Foley makes the tackle. That's 20 yards on the day for Dorsett. I suppose... Uh, if you're looking for good news, Delvin Williams has only eight yards so far. But then Greasy has 159 passing. It's second down and five. Cowboys at the 29. Drew comes wide to the right side against Norris Thomas, and Tony Hill breaks off to the left. High formation in the backfield, and the handoff goes to Newhouse, straight up the center, gets three. It'll be third down and two as Bob Baumhauer, the nose guard, made the tackle. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is the Dallas Cowboy Radio Network. Follow Suns basketball throughout the 78-79 campaign here on KTAR Phoenix. Third down two Cowboys back at the line at their own 32 and a half yard line. Dupree is tight to the right side, just one tight end on this play. Staubach with the count under John Fitzgerald. Motion on the left side from Herb Scott. The Cowboys will lose five yards. So Dallas will have much more difficult circumstances now. Two flags are down. Illegal procedure against the Cowboys. Newhouse goes out. Tom Rafferty goes out. Dorsett comes back in with Preston Pearson in the offensive backfield. It'll be third down and seven now for the Cowboys. And Gordon McCarter will reiterate what we told you. Illegal procedure, false start, number 68, third down. That was Herb Scott. It'll be third down, seven. The ball pushed back to the Cowboy 27. Drew Pearson comes left. Cowboys will go from the spread. Tony Hill is off to the other side. Pearson to the right side, actually. And Preston Pearson in the wing to the right side. Blitz looked by Bob Matheson. Here's the handoff on the power sweep to the right side. Tony Dorsett to the 30. Spins out of a tackle. Has a first down up the 37-yard line. Blocking up front from Burton Lawless and Herb Scott on the pull play. Charlie Babb made the tackle, but the Cowboys do convert the third down conversion. And they've got new life at their own 36-yard line. Nine-yard Nine pickup for Dorsett. 13-14 to go third quarter. Cowboys need three touchdowns, and they need to shut out Miami in the second half, and they go home with a victory. It's that easy. Right? <laughs> First and 10 at the 36. Regular set now. Dorsett shifts to the left side. Side by side with Newhouse. The handoff goes to Robert Newhouse. He's hit and driven down by Bob Baumhauer, who is having a super afternoon. Big number 73, second year pro from Alabama, 6'5", 258. That time Larry Gordon also helped on the tackle. But Baumhauer is winning the battle at the line of scrimmage. No gain in the last play. It'll be second down and 10. Burton Lawless brings the play in. Steve Toll comes to the bench for Miami. That uh, Miami defense, Vern Den Herter, Bob Baumhauer, A.J. Dewey, Kim Camper, Rusty Chambers, Larry Gordon, and Bob Matheson is in there right now. It's a 3-4 Miami defense. 
Cowboys second down and 10 at their own 36. Roger will throw. Three-man rush. Delayed blitz now. Roger wants it all going deep for Tony Hill. Hill way downfield. Cut! A great catch by Tony Hill at the 11-yard line. It was reminiscent of the catch Butch Johnson made in the Super Bowl last year. A tremendous diving catch with Tony Hill parallel to the ground, two feet up. He is certainly excited as well he might be. Ran a great pattern. And he got a couple of yards, actually, on the nearest defender. And Roger had plenty of time. Great protection, and he just uncorked it, running that post into triple coverage almost. But the diving catch by Tony Hill, there's maybe, maybe the spark the Cowboys need offensively. It looks so much like Butch Johnson's catch in the Super Bowl. It's first down 10 for the Cowboys at the Miami 11. Drew goes wide left, so does Tony Hill. Tony has his shirt tail out now. A big split behind Staubach, and Preston Pearson is in the offensive backfield. Roger will throw. Drops back. Here comes the blitz. He is hit and dropped at the 22. Fumbles the ball, but recovers. Fourth quarterback sack today on Staubach. A.J. Dewey got there this time. Third quarterback sack. And those two guys really in the middle, Dewey and Baumhauer, rookies a year ago, and they have, as will happen, you know, in the, when a first-year man gets to play a lot, here they are in their second year, Vern, and they are really a crushing pair of defensive linemen. That was a loss of 11 back to the 22. It's second down and 21 for the Cowboys. Newhouse and Preston Pearson in the backfield. Regular formation for the Cowboys. They are in the eye, now the shift. Preston comes to the right, Newhouse to the left, Starbuck, draw play. Newhouse, caught and dropped, one-yard pickup at the 21-yard line. Rusty Chambers and Mr. Newhouse getting introduced. It'll be third down and 20 at the 21. Dolphin defense isn't letting up in spite of the margin at this point. 20-3, to three, Miami leads it with 10-17 to go third quarter. Cowboys with that sensational catch by Hill had new life, but again, having trouble inside the 20. They had a first and goal at the two in the first half and came up with only three points. Spread formation for the Cowboys. Drew Pearson goes left side. Tony Hill comes to the right. Dupree is off the line of scrimmage, and Tony Dorsett and Preston Pearson are the setbacks. Stavok five yards back on third down 20. Low snap picked up. He's up in the pocket. Looks left. Has a man open over the middle. Now pulls up. Goes deep in the end zone. It is tipped away incomplete. Hill was open. Norris Thomas saved the touchdown. For an amazingly long period of time, Billy Joe Dupree was wide open over the middle at about the 10 or 12 yard line. And you kept thinking that Stavok was going to go there. But he waited, and, and in fact, he waited so long that a linebacker came over and picked Billy Joe up. Then Hill was open in the end zone, and Roger with the throw, and just give credit to Norris Thomas, who made a tremendous diving touch of the ball and saved a sure touchdown, set the end, on to try a 39-yard field goal. He'll kick from the 29. Here's the snap, the kick on the way. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Set the end is two for two. There's a timeout on the field with our score. Miami 20 and the Cowboys 6. Dallas Cowboy football continues after this word. Cowboys run off 5 minutes and 10 seconds on the drive. Come up with 3, but it's the second time they've been inside the 15 and had to settle for a field goal. And you've got to give a lot of credit to Norris Thomas for a great play to save the touchdown. Now it will be interesting to see what Mr. Greasy is able to do against the Cowboy defense. Dallas has shaved the lead to 14. It's 20 to 6. This is where we were after five minutes had gone by in the ball game. Set the end will kick. Duriel Harris, Jimmy Cephalo, and Gary Davis are deep. Here's the approach by Rafael Septian. Nice kick this time. Duriel Harris has it at the 3. Center of the field to the 10. To the 15, comes left to the 20. Tries to get outside and does. He's to the 25. Stiff arm and knocked out of bounds up to the 32-yard line. Raphael Septien once again saved a bunch with help from Dennis Thurman. But the Dolphins get a nice return, and they've got the ball first down 10 at their own 32. Offensive line, Bob Kuchenberg, Ed Newman, Jim Langer, Larry Little, Mike Current, Andre Tillman. Duriel Harris and Matt Moore are the wide receivers. The running backs are Leroy Harris and Delvin Williams, and the quarterback is Bob Greasy. 9.28 to go third quarter. It's 20-6. to 6. 
Cowboy defense getting ready. Here comes Jim Langer, who has been described by the Cowboys staff as one of the best centers in football. He and Tom Banks. He's over the ball. Tillman goes from the right side up tight to the left. Greasy has it, or does not have it yet. Now he does. Pitch out to Delvin Williams. Tries to get outside. Circling around Ed Jones is knocked down for a loss back at the 27-yard line by Mark Washington. There were three good defensive plays on that one. And Washington made the tackle for a loss back to the 27. In fact, Washington was so good that that may have been two of the three right there. But Ed Jones was the contained man who kept Delvin Williams from turning the corner. And then what a great job of knifing in under the coverage Washington did and knocked him off his feet. So the Dolphins are now looking at second and 13. It has almost gone unnoticed, but Delvin Williams has carried 11 times for three yards in this ball game. Here come the Dolphins with Gary Davis and Norm Bulash in the backfield now. <coughs> Greasy will throw. Back to pass up in the pocket. Goes across the middle. That is almost intercepted by Dennis Thurman. It's incomplete. Through behind his tight end, Andre Tillman. And was racked up by Ed Jones. Greasy was as he let the ball go. Young rookie from Southern Cal is beginning to play with some authority. He started to show it a week or so ago. The Cowboys really need that with the off and on injuries that Benny Barnes and Mark Washington have suffered. Thurman almost got his first NFL interception right there. One of the big things the Cowboys have been lacking this year is the big defensive play. The key turnover that will ignite them. And they could pick no more opportune time than then or now for that kind of an opportunity. A 6-3 and three team against a 6-3 and three team, but Miami leads it 20-6. to six. It's third down and 15. Prevent defense in for the Cowboys. Greasy drops straight back. It's a four-man rush. He's up in the pocket, going deep, way downfield. Harris is wide open, and Greasy overthrows him by three yards. Durio Harris had soundly whipped Dennis Thurman at the Cowboy 30. And Greasy overthrew him by a bunch. That had six written all over it. Cowboys changed some of their defensive signals at the line with a little bit of the Miami shifting. Charlie Waters was moving people around. And Roy Harris really was open. Fortunately, if you're a Cowboy fan, Greasy overthrew it. Here's George Roberts. Here comes the rush. Roberts kicks it. It will be uh, fair caught. Butch Johnson at the 30. And the Cowboys will take over at approximately the 31-yard line. Butch at the last minute had to uh, slide over to his left to make the tackle and almost stumbled with it. There's a timeout on the field with our score. Miami 20 and the Cowboys 6. Dallas Cowboy football continues in a moment. This is Jim Amici for La Casa Pools, the people pleasers. La Casa Pool builders are the winners of international awards for the creativity of their designs and the excellence of their construction. They build pools from $2,500 to more than $200,000, all constructed to meet demanding specifications. La Casa is the quantity pool builder, using only top quantity materials regardless of the cost or size of the pool. La Casa Pools is located right here in Phoenix, but they build pools all over Arizona. People who've seen a La Casa Pool want a La Casa Pool for themselves. Here in Phoenix, you can have the very best in pool design in construction. La Casa Pools has the right custom design for you. A La Casa representative will be happy to visit with you, discuss your needs and desires, and show you award-winning designs. Call La Casa Pools today, the people pleasers. Cowboys have it at their own 30, trailing by 14, 20 to 6. They took the opening kickoff of the second half and got a field goal out of it on a drive set up by a marvelous catch from Tony Hill. Hill goes to the left side against Curtis Johnson, and Drew Pearson comes wide right. Starbuck for the day is 8 out of 12 for 101. One interception, he's been dropped three times. Long count, Roger has it, hands it off to Dorsett, goes left, tries to dart to the outside. Flag is down as Tony picks up three to 34. Steve Cole and Rusty Chambers made the tackle. Maybe a penalty against the Cowboys. Chambers and Gordon on the tackle. Flag is down. Holding against Dallas. Didn't need that. So they'll mark off 10 against the Cowboys and push it back to the 20-yard line. It'll be first down and 20. And the flag was thrown on the right side of the offensive line of scrimmage, but we'll wait and see who it is officially. And here comes Gordon McCarter now to uh, tell us. Holding number 62 offense. Repeat first down. Call is on John Fitzgerald, the center. It'll be first down and 20. Cowboys break the huddle and quickly come up. Miami is in the prevent defense. 
three down linemen. They've got five men on the line of scrimmage, which may indicate a blitz. Nope, they're sending four. Here's Dorsett in the power sweep to the right. Tony up to the 30. Tony with a stiff arm out of the tackle and back to the 39-yard line. Dorsett picked up a bundle. He picked up 18 yards on that carry. It'll be second down and two as Rick Volk makes the, makes the tackle. There won't be any complaining about the blocking on that play. What a hole that was opened up. Through the right side, Burton Lawless with a key block. Rayfield right at right tackle. And Robert Newhouse helping out as he led on the sweep. And Dorsett made one little cutback behind the block of Burton Lawless. And then he just nosed up almost to the first down. Dorsett is out of there, limping a little bit as he went to the bench. Preston Pearson in. Second down and two. The handoff to Newhouse. Robert backs over, still up, and he's got the first down at the 41-yard line. There's a scramble for the ball down there in the melee and midfield, but the Cowboys have it, if indeed it was a fumble. First down, 10. So they overcome a first down and 20. And indeed, Brad, if they could go in and get a touchdown... We'd have an interesting ball game again at 20 to 13. Yeah, if they can leave a little bit of time left in the third quarter, and you know, and defense has got to got to play. But when you're a touchdown behind, you know, you're you're really in the ball game. Miami has not done much at all since that first quarter when they tacked up 17 points. Their other three came after they recovered a fumble at the Cowboy eight. It's first down, 10 Dallas. Backs are in the eye. Pitch out. Preston Pearson. The reverse to Drew Pearson. He goes left. Is almost caught behind the line. Now he's in jail. Shakes up to the 30 and is caught for a loss back at the 37-yard line. They've been watching game films. Yeah, they sure have. Rusty Chambers was over there. Drew never had a chance. Larry Gordon also there. And it'll be a loss back to the 37-yard line. Second down. Tom Rafferty brings the play in. Burton Wallace goes to the bench. Preston Pearson goes out. And that should mean Tony Dorsett is back in the lineup. They really had that thing diagnosed. And Gordon was in the vicinity as Burns set along with Chambers and finally nailing Drew. And Drew did a heck of a job to get away from losing about five or ten more yards. Second down and 15 at the Cowboy 37-yard line. Dorsett and Newhouse now the setback. Drew Pearson, wide right. Tony Hill, wide left. Staubach straight back. Five-man rush. Roger up in the pocket. In trouble. Goes out. Fires it. It is incomplete. He was hit as he let it go, and it was incomplete. Almost intercepted by... A.J. Dewey. There's a flag down at the 47-yard line of the Cowboys in defensive secondary. That, uh, that's got a chance to be, it is against Miami, and it, uh, I think it's either going to be pass interference or certainly illegal use of hands, maybe defensive holding. There's a break for the guys in blue. That is a big break for the guys in blue. So they will mark off the penalty. The ball is spotted at the 42. Here's Gordon McCarter. Chambers, Cowboys new life. They would have had a third down and six and 15. They've got a first down 10 at their own 42. We've got 547 to go third quarter. 20 to 6, Cowboys trailing. They fell behind 14-0 in the first five and a half minutes. It was 17-0 at the end of the quarter. Then 17-3, finally 20 to 3 at the half. Dorset and Newhouse shifting in the backfield. Staubach under John Fitzgerald. Long count by Roger. Fakes the draw play, goes back to pass with a three-man rush, fires it out for Dupree. Billy Joe has another first down, breaking a tackle and is out of bounds at the Miami 42-yard line. Nice pass by Roger Staubach to an open Billy Joe Dupree on the left side. Nice to also see the Cowboys being able, with a good pass, to take advantage of the three-man rush because it means he's got the time. And nice also to see the Cowboys public relations director, Mr. Doug Todd who has come in to the booth because that is a sign that the thing is going to begin to turn around. Did in St. Louis, at least, so we'll see. First down, 10, Mr. Todd is with it. At the 42 of Miami, Cowboys down by 14, 5.04 to go, third quarter. Drew Pearson out of the backfield in motion wide right. Roger hands it off to Dorsett. Big pile up in the middle of the line and he is caught for a gain of two by Larry Gordon the linebacker nothing opened up up front that time it'll be second down and eight 447 remaining we've had an outbreak of darkness in Miami yeah we've got a night game all of a sudden <laughs> I feel like we've got Penn State and Oklahoma down in the field huh well I'm tempted to say that one might be closer but <laughs> I won't second down and eight Staubach for the day, 9 out of 13 for 122. 
Hill left side, Drew Pearson right side. Eye formation, now the shift, door set, goes back into the eye. Cowboy offensive line is set. The draw play is fake to door set. Rogers back to throw. Looks deep across the middle. Flag is down as he lets it go. It's caught by Tony Hill. Hill to the 20, to the 15. Now to the 10. And runs out of bounds at the 11-yard line. There is a flag on the field. So we'll see. And the flag is upfield. Flag is down. Holding defensively against Miami will be declined by the Cowboys. It'll be a first down at the 11. When you see that flag up there in that region, you, you tend to think of uh, defensive use of the hands. They're talking once again to Rusty Chambers. And again, number 51 defense declined. First down. Earlier in this quarter, the Cowboys had the ball first down 10 at the 11. They had to settle for the field goal. In the second quarter, they had the ball, first down and goal from the two. They had to settle for the field goal. They once again have it first down and 10 from the 11-yard line of the Miami Dolphins with 4.02 remaining third quarter, and they trail by 14. Here come the Cowboys. Drew Pearson goes to the left. Tony Hill comes to the right. He'll be working on Norris Thomas, a big split behind Roger Staubach at the offensive line of scrimmage. Staubach hands it off to Newhouse. He comes right, breaks one tackle, picks up four yards down near the seven or six-yard line. Steve Toll with the tackle. Quick pop off the right side behind guard. And Newhouse got down to the six. If indeed they can get in here, get the touchdown, not the field goal, we've got a brand new ball game. 3.35 remaining, third quarter. Drew Pearson goes left against Curtis Johnson. Double tight end set. Jackie Smith is in the ball game, tight right. Eye formation behind Roger on second down and six. Hand off, door set, caught behind the line, dropped. Got back to the line of scrimmage, it'll be third down at the six. Tim Foley made the tackle. Boy, the Cowboys have been just really struggling in close. Yeah, hard to figure out to say when the strong safety comes up on a play like that and gets in almost behind the line of scrimmage and makes the tackle. Somebody's not picking him up from somewhere. Tom Rafferty comes in. Cowboys just now huddling, and they've got 15 seconds before they have to snap the football. There's all kinds of offensive confusion with players coming in and out. Ten seconds before the Cowboys will have to call timeout. They've got six seconds to get the playoff. They have four seconds to get the playoff, and Roger Staubach calls timeout. There was so much confusion with players coming in and out and not knowing who was supposed to stay in the ballgame that the Cowboys have to use one of their three to talk things over. There's a timeout on the field with our score. The Dolphins 20 and the Cowboys 6. Dallas Cowboy football continues after this word. When it's summertime in the Southwest, driving dusty back roads can be tough on your car's paintwork. And if it's tough on the paint, think what it does to your engine. We ran into similar conditions in Alaska, testing motorcraft oil filters. Choking summer dust and 90-degree heat could have caused engine wear. So could sub-zero winter temperatures. In these conditions, 50 Ford, GM, and Chrysler cars and trucks were driven mile after mile. Filters were changed at recommended intervals. Throughout the whole grueling test, only one filter couldn't take it. The Motorcraft filters consistently trapped moisture, dirt, and sludge to keep oil flowing to vital engine parts. If this is the kind of performance you're looking for, a Motorcraft oil filter belongs in your car. Motorcraft, tested tough in Alaska. Motorcraft oil filters are available in your area. Ask for Motorcraft at your local auto parts store. Tom Landry and Roger Staubach still over on the Cowboys sideline talking over the options on third down and five from the six-yard line. Clark is killed with 237 to go in the third quarter. Roger is 10 out of 14 for 152 yards has been intercepted once. Drew Pearson has caught one for 13, Hill two for 83, Preston Pearson two for 22, and Dupree four for 35, Dorsett one for minus one. Now Roger back in the huddle, and we'll see what Tom Landry and the coaching staff up here in the uh, press box have decided. On third down, third and five from the six. Tony Hill left side, Drew Pearson right side, Dupree is tight to the right. Regular set, Preston Pearson, Robert Newhouse to the setbacks. 
Staubach with a long count. Draw play. Preston Pearson caught and dropped at the five-yard line. Bob Matheson got it. It's fourth down. And Raphael Septien, who is five out of ten, will try and come in or coming into the game. Will come in and try and give the Cowboys his third field goal of the day. Roger Staubach walking off the field disgustedly. He was really upset with the way that that play did not unfold, and I'll tell you, the Dolphins just did not go for the draw. Charlie Waters will hold. D.D. Lewis will snap it. Brunig is one of the up backs in case there might be a fake, but I doubt it. Here's the snap. Septian's kick is up, and he has got it. Raphael is three for three. There's a timeout on the field with our score now. Miami 20 and the Cowboys 9. Dallas Cowboy football continues in a moment. This is radio. Another home run for the Bambino. He made it. Lucky Lindy, as they call him. The Shadow Nose. Once a bulky wireless set in the living room, radio has changed to become as mobile, aware, and curious as you are. One thing that radio always did in those early days was make you laugh. <laughs> I meant a shrimp cocktail. No matter how small it is, I never did. <laughs> In the 40s, when our boys were over there, radio kept us in touch over here. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. This was their finest hour. In the last few years, things have been happening as quickly as the radio can bring them to you. Ask what you can do for your country. And quality days here, the eagle has landed. Thank God Almighty! The Viking has landed on Mars. Thanks for listening. We're radio. Listen to radio and hear the world. The Cowboys have dominated here in the third quarter just as they did in the second quarter, but they have been unable to come up with a touchdown. They have had to settle for three field goals. On three occasions, they have been inside the 15, twice with first down at the 11, once with the first down at the 2. But Septian has kicked three, and it's an 11-point deficit. Here's Raphael to approach the ball. Kicks it short. It bounces at the five. It's taken by Duriel Harris. He's back to the 15, the 20, center of the field. Comes left to the 30. Slips and falls at the 31. And Dennis Thurman squats on him just to make sure he stays down. And the crowd thinks there should be a roughing call there, but really just securing the tackle. Miami has not picked up a first down here. The contrast in the dominance of the two teams is that when the Dolphins were dominating in the first quarter, they got 17 points. The Cowboys have controlled the tempo of the game for the last two quarters, but they've been able to come up with only nine. 1.40 to go, third quarter. Miami breaks the huddle and comes up. Bob Greasy picked up all 159 yards he has passing in the first quarter. He's got him at the line. First down, 10 at the 32. Greasy with a long count. Safety blitz is threatened. He'll throw. Blitz is coming. Greasy's back. Hit as he lets it fly. Flag is down. Pass is caught on the left side. One on one. Harris breaks free to the 50. Now it's a foot race. He gets a block. He's to the 30, the 20. He is going to score from the 10, the 5. Touchdown. Now keep in mind there is a flag in the offensive backfield. the reception was made Duriel Harris put a nice little move on Mark Washington to get free and then he got a downfield block on Cliff Harris and then ensued the foot race but the flag, you know, the, the crowd is reacting here as you would expect but the flag was down when you see a flag in that, in that spot I mean you can take it to the bank but you're going to get a holding call here's the call from McCarter caught Leroy Harris. Yeah, you're right. The flag was thrown well before Greasy threw the ball. Right. Absolutely. And I hear the public address announcer say that play went down the drain. Oh, it's oh, it's next door. I thought it was it was loud enough to be the public address announcer. It's the uh, it's the uh, pipeline to Augusta, Maine. Yes. Okay. Somehow I don't like the accommodations here. It's first down and 20 Miami at the 21. Boy, you get spoiled at home. Andre Tillman goes tight to the right. High formation, pitch out. Delvin Williams, Cowboys red the sweep. Williams is caught. Flag is down. He's caught and dropped. 
A fumble, but Miami has recovered. There is a marker down. A little jawing going on between Jones and Henderson and Andre Tillman. Personal foul clipping against Miami. That'll be half the distance. And the Cowboys, I'm reasonably certain, will take it. They caught Williams for a loss back to the two. But I think they'll take it. We'll see. They're discussing it now. It would be second down and about 22 if they take the play. Well, you'd think so because field position is so important. Yeah, exactly. They're going to. They'll take the play. And that'll put it back to the 10. So my, Miami had a... <laughs> Miami had a touchdown callback. Here's Gordon McCarter. Personal foul. Clipping number 67 offense. Repeat first down. It's against Bob Kuchenberg. And now the ball is back to the 10. Well, a Cowboy turnover here, or a Miami turnover, a Cowboy takeaway would be opportune if you're a Dallas fan. First down and 30 from the 10. And they had a touchdown call back just a moment ago. Greasy has him back at the line. See if he stays conservative, which I expect he might do. Long count by Greasy. Looking for the offside call. Draw play up the middle. Picks up three yards. Delvin Williams up to the 13. And the crowd is booing because they thought there should have been an offside call against the Cowboys. Randy White made the initial defensive contact and, as a matter of fact, made a heck of a play because he reached in over a trailing blocker and got a hand on Williams and slowed him down in time for the linebackers to come up and make the play. Second down and 27. Leroy Harris comes out. Norm Bulash is in there in his place. Greasy brings him up. Matt Moore comes to the left. Duriel Harris goes to the right against Mark Washington. It's second down and 27 at the 13-yard line of Miami. Greasy will throw. Four-man rush. He's up in the pocket, going deep. Has Duriel Harris and Mark Washington down there. Flag is called on Mark Washington's pass interference. Cowboys are complaining that it ought to be offensive interference, but it was pretty clear because the bump came, and obviously you've got the five-yard rule, and Mark Washington clearly put his hands on the receiver, bumped him away, and that will be pass interference and will bring the Dolphins into great shape once again. Well, that's exactly what you hope for in a situation like that. You're throwing it up for grabs just in case something might happen, and it did. So from a second down and 27, first down. at their own 13, they've got a first down at the Cowboy 45. Jimmy Cephalo comes in. Matt Moore goes out for Miami at wide receiver. Dolphins get it. New life at the Cowboys. 45-yard line with 24 seconds to go in the third quarter. They lead it 20 to 9. Here come the Dolphins. Cephalo, left side. Greasy with his backs in the eye. Blitz is threatened. Greasy has it. Blitz is coming. Right side. It's caught. One on one. Harris is out there and is dragged down after a gain of three. Mark Washington made the tackle. And that should be the final play of the third quarter. And the Cowboys will wind up three quarters trailing by 11. Five seconds to go. Now four, three, two, and one. That's the end of the quarter with our score. Miami 20 and the Cowboys 9. Dallas Cowboy football continues after this word. 15 minutes to go. Cowboys dominating the last two periods. Miami has not done much at all once they got those two early breaks and went up 17-0. But the Cowboys have not been able to cash in with a TD. There are a couple of statistics that you look at coming into the game that really tell the difference between these two teams and part of the way the game has gone. We've told you one of them, which is the takeaways and giveaways. The Cowboys minus eight coming in, and they've lost two fumbles and an interception today. And the Dolphins with the best in the league at a plus 12 coming in. The other one in the penalty department, the Cowboys... Coming into the game, it has been penalized 59 times for 459 yards. Miami, by comparison, 38 times for 295. And those are significant differences in critical areas. Today, five penalties against the Cowboys for 66, seven against Miami for 52. But the biggest penalty so far, well, there have been two big ones, in all honesty, here in the last uh, or current series. A holding call against Miami that rubbed out a touchdown to Duriel Harris. 
And then the pass interference call against Mark Washington that gave Miami a first down at the 46 after they had had a second down at 27 at their own 13. The Dolphins have a second down and six now at the Cowboys 41. And Dallas does not need any more field goals in this football game. They need touchdowns. And defensively, they've come back to do a good job. As a matter of fact, Bob Greasy, since the second quarter, in the last 30 minutes of football, has completed, I mean, has thrown for four yards. And we point out again that 10 of the uh, 20 Dolphin points were set up on short yardage drives by Cowboy Fumbles. First, uh, second down, and six at the Cowboy 41. Greasy has him back. Andre Tillman goes from right to left. D.D. Lewis up looking at him. Hand off up the middle. Delvin Williams. He gets a hole and squirts down close for a first down at the 36-yard line. There is a struggle for the ball as he may have fumbled it. And I think he did. Ed Newman recovered the ball. You see where they spot it now. No, they're going to move it back up and say it was no fumble. So it will be a third down and about one. And Larry Bethea comes in. Harvey Martin goes out for the Cowboys. Harvey has played three full downs, but they're going to bring Bethea in on this third down and two. Ball of the Cowboy 37. Dolphins break and come up. Laird McCurry, the tight end, extra tight end, is in there. It's 20-9 to nine with 14-20 to go in the football game. Double tight end set. Greasy barks out the signals. Leroy Harris directly behind Bob Greasy. The handoff goes. Play action. Greasy back to pass. Rushes on. He's hit and dropped. Ed Jones. With a big defensive play, sacks Greasy. He just obliterated the blockers and got to Greasy before Bob could get set to throw it. I just, you know, I had a flash as I would watch the play set up, say, no, he wouldn't throw here. He'll keep it conservative. And Ed Jones seemed to be blocked out of the play, but blew right by Wayne Moore, the right tackle. And he was, what a tremendous defensive play by Ed Jones, who again seemingly was unblocked, and what a big play there. The Cowboys to hold him, and now with a chance to climb back in. George Roberts will putt, Butch Johnson waits for it at the 10. Roberts is back at the 38-yard line, and the Cowboys have eight men on the line of scrimmage. They are coming. Here comes the rush. Roberts gets the kick away, and it's a good one. It bounces at the 10, rolls to the 5, is picked up at the 5, and Johnson runs it out of bounds at the 10. He had to do that because it hit. Dennis Thurman. And I'll tell you something, that's a very alert play by Butch because Thurman was trying to set up a block. The ball hit him in the back, and it's a live ball at that point. There's a timeout on the field with our score. The Cowboys 9, Miami 20. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. Hey, do you ever think what it's like to be a tree in a forest? Well, let me tell you, as a tree, I don't get no respect. First come the lovers carving hearts and sweet nothings in your bark. Don't people know that hurts? I mean, just because love is painful for humans. Does it got to be painful for trees, too? Then there's the hikers, tearing off our limbs for walking sticks. That's really no respect. Can you imagine if trees went for walks and tore off people's limbs? And how about the campers with their fires? Cigarette smokers flipping their butts everywhere. Don't they care that trees burn easy? Why don't they drown their campfires? Forget smoking for a while. I'll tell you why. They got no respect for us trees. But we're tired of getting no respect. So the next time you come into a forest, you better be careful. Because us trees become chairs and tables. And we'll give you splinters for revenge. Hey, dog, get out of here, will you? A public service message on behalf of this station, the Ad Council, your state foresters, the Forest Service, Smokey Bear, and every living thing. And Rodney Dangerfield. Cowboys have it 90 yards away from the Miami goal line. 13-38 remaining. They've got to have two touchdowns in order to go in front. 20-9. And here come the folks. Tony Hill comes wide left. Drew Pearson breaks off wide right. Dorsett and Newhouse in the backfield. In the eye formation with Tony the deep back. He's got 50 yards in the day. Staubach will throw. Fires it out right side for Tony Hill. Hill is caught and hauled out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Picked up four on the play. Tony Hill with his third catch today. And it'll be second down and six. I wouldn't mind seeing him going to the two-minute offense. That's right. <laughs> Zip, zip, zip. The clock shows 13, 15 remaining in the ball game. And it's a factor. It really is Already a Already it is. That's you right. Bet. So we will keep you aware of how much time remains. Butch Johnson has come in. He goes, no. Yes. No, he's not. I thought he was in there. He's not. 
Dorsett and Newhouse. Newhouse stumbles as he tries to get set behind Staubach. Now he's ready on second down six. Newhouse gets the handoff across the 15 out there the 18. It'll be third down and two. As Rusty Chambers and A.J. Dewey collaborate for the tackle. Cowboys need to get just across the 19 for the first down. Timeout has been called by the official. And that's, that's fairly close. I don't think he's got it, Vern, but it's pretty close. Yeah, it sure is. They're looking. I don't know whether they're going to measure or not. No, they're not. Third down. Third and one for the Cowboys. 12.40 to go in the game. Pearson is out. It'll be the power formation for Dallas on third down and one. Preston Pearson is in the ball game, along with Newhouse. Butch Johnson also in there and two tight ends. Third and one. Cowboys have not had success on short yardage situations much today. Staubach with a long count, play action. He wants it all. He's going to fire, can't find anybody open. Fumbles the ball, recovers it at the 11-yard line. It'll be fourth down, and Danny White will come on to punt. Well, sometimes you can tell when it ain't your day. Third and one, and the second guessers will be waiting at the DFW late tonight around midnight to want to know why the Cowboys wanted to throw there, but obviously it was a try to catch the Dolphins off guard, and not in the plan was for the ball to slip loose. Rogers arguing with the official. I don't know what about. Maybe a late hit or something, but now he's going after Gordon McCarter, the referee. The Sailors upset. And Staubach has to hurry off before the snap so Danny White can get the kick away. Jimmy Cephalo is waiting at the Dolphin 45. White is three yards back in the end zone. Miami should get great field position out of this. Here's the kick by White. Up and fairly short. Fair catch called by Cephalo. He's got it at the Cowboy 49-yard line. So Miami has tremendous field position with 11.52 to go in the game. There's a timeout on the field with our score still. Miami 20 and the Cowboys 9. Dallas Cowboy football continues after this word. Introducing a new way to take your pulse. Berlinetta, the sophisticated new Camaro from Chevrolet. You realize the careful attention paid to your personal comfort when you close Berlinetta's fine interior around you. Newly designed bucket seats support you comfortably. Special sound insulation surrounds you to help reduce wind, engine, and road noise. The special Berlinetta suspension system gives you a supple yet sensitive ride. Handling is responsive. Outside, the Berlinetta sports a subtle pinstripe that accents the distinctly exciting Camaro shape. Berlinetta is elegant. It's comfortable and quieter than Camaro's past. It's a beautiful way to move you. Body and soul. Camaro Berlinetta is a new way to take your pulse. Only from Chevrolet. Back to play with 11.52 to go in the game. And the Dolphins perched on the Cowboys' 49-yard line. Dallas does not have a takeaway in the game yet. They are down 3-0 in turnovers. They are minus 11 on the year in turnovers. And the Dolphins are plus 15. First down, 10. With a 20 to 9 score. Miami huddled back at the 40 yard line. Well, this is like sitting in a sound chamber. You've just got <laughs> reverberations everywhere. I'm hearing more of Tony Roberts than I ever have in my life. It's first down, 10. High formation behind Bob Greasy. Jim Langer over the ball. Cowboys threatening a blitz. Nat Moore starts in motion. The handoff goes to the fullback, Leroy Harris. He breaks the tackle and picks up three yards down to the 46-yard line of Dallas. Cowboys with zero turnovers. A big, big factor. And you were counting up the yards the Dolphins had to go for 10 points. Oh, yeah. On, on two of the drives that Miami has had to go, you had a total, a total of 24 yards that Miami had to go to get 10 of their 20 points. And you... Well, same stories against Minnesota the other night. Second down and seven, Miami, at the Cowboy 46. Nat Moore goes left side. Daryl Harris comes wide to the right. Bob Greasy sends Andre Tillman in motion tight to the right side. He is now set. Greasy has it, drops back, rushes on. He's up in the pocket, flips it out, and is caught. At the Cowboy 37, Delvin Williams has a first down at the 33. Bob Brunig limps dejectedly back into the defensive huddle, realizing that they caught somebody, and quite possibly the young middle linebacker, 
out of position on the coverage, and there go the there go the chains, 10 yards downfield. 10.49 to go in the game. Actually, a field goal wouldn't hurt the Cowboys here, except that they're losing a lot of time. They've got to have two touchdowns. Gracie calls for quiet as the Dolphins come up to the line of scrimmage. Long count by Bob Greasy. And he has it. Hand off on the right side. It's Delvin Williams. Trier is at Leroy Harris. Leroy Harris down to the 32-yard line. Jethro Pugh made the stop. Second down and seven. There is such a feeling, and there's a player injured. Mike Current is almost knocked out on his feet, apparently, and the referee saw that and quickly signaled officials' timeout. There's a momentary break in the action, so let's pause. For this, you're listening to Dallas Cowboy Football. Wayne Moore has replaced Mike Current and uh, is in there at right offensive tackle now. It's second down, seven Miami. We're under 10 minutes to go in the game. 9.57 and the clock going down. Greasy will throw. Looks to his left, pops it out to the left, and it's caught. Tight end Andre Tillman, first down at the 21-yard line. That time they picked on Thomas Henderson. That is uh, very much like the pass that Greasy threw to Tillman back in the first quarter to set up Ukrainian's first field goal. This one was a uh, quick out to the outside. That one was over the middle, but the point is that he puts it right over the tight end shoulder, and it's got to be a precision pass because the linebacker is going to be on him pretty much step for step, and it was a, just a perfectly thrown ball. First down, 10 at the Cowboy, 21. Greasy back at the line. Tillman comes tight to the right. High formation, Harris and Delvin Williams in the offensive backfield. The handoff goes to Leroy Harris, comes right, carrying the ball out in the open, is dumped and spilled at the 19-yard line by D.D. Lewis. Delvin Williams for the day has carried 12 times for seven yards. Well, you know, the Cowboys, and Vern, you've watched them years enough to know this, they have a history of stopping the great backs on big games. And if you want recent proof, you just look back to Peyton last year in the playoff game and and uh, Wilbert Montgomery was leading the league a couple of weeks ago when the Cowboys played the Eagles and they shut Williams down. But again, the other extenuating circumstances today have meant that the Dolphins haven't really needed Williams. 9-11 to go in the game and the clock running it. Second down and nine at the Cowboys 20. Tillman goes tight to the left side. Charlie Waters follows him over there. Cowboys shifting defensively. A big split and Greasy will throw. Drops back, blitzes on up in the pocket. Scrambles out to his right, being chased at the 30, and is caught and dropped at the 29-yard line by Ed Tutal Jones. The clock will continue to run, though, and it's under nine minutes. It'll be third down for the Dolphins at the Cowboy 29. They're going to need a bunch. The prevent defense comes in now. Randy Hughes, Larry Cole, and Dennis Thurman. Ed Jones having a fine day for the Cowboys. And now the clock has stopped until the officials say they get set again. They do, and the clock starts. 8.49 and counting. It's third down and 17 at the Cowboy 29-yard line. Almost would have been better for Dallas if he gotten out of bounds. Absolutely. Tillman comes out limping. He has been replaced by Laird McCreary. No, he has not. He's been replaced by Jimmy Cephalo. Three wide receivers in. Cephalo goes wide left. Nat Moore is wide left. And Duriel Harris is wide right. It's third and 17 at the Cowboy 29, 20 to nine, Dolphins lead. Up and down set. <laughs> Draw play up the middle, Delvin Williams up to the 14 yard line. He will not have enough for the first down, but he will be in range for Garo Yapremian and there is an injured Cowboy back up at the 33. That is as alert as you have ever been to know when I'm gonna call. Thank you, Brad. Uh, the Cowboys have a man down. I'm not sure it's well, we don't know yet. At the 33-yard line, it'll be fourth down, and your premium will come on. There is a player down and a timeout on the field. With our score, Miami 20 and the Cowboys 9. Dallas Cowboy football continues after this word. Thomas Henderson is the injured Cowboy player. Thomas Henderson, Thomas Henderson. I keep thinking I'm hearing myself. It's just Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. Yeah. And he is walking off the field with some assistance. Yepremian is on to try the field goal. It will come from uh, about the 23-yard line. Last week, the Dolphins scored on a fake field goal, and we were discussing that possibility during the timeout. And doubtful they would try it, but it would be a big play for them if they got the touchdown here. Field goal is meaningless. Yeah, the interesting thing about it last week, Strock is the holder, the backup quarterback, and he threw it to Vern Den Herder. And Yepremian was mad because he said he was open. 
Yepremian will kick it from the 23-yard line. A 33-yard effort from the right hash mark. Long count by Strzok. Here's the snap. The kick is on the way. And he got it. There's a momentary break in the action. So let's pause for this. You're listening to Dallas Cowboy Football. Seven minutes and 42 seconds to go in the ball game, which means, quite obviously, the Cowboys have got to score quick and then get the ball back one more time. They needed 14 points before the field goal. They still need 14. And if they could get 14, it would be 24-23. But you're talking about things that don't appear to be probable because Dallas has really had problems once inside the Miami 20 today. A recap for you if you joined us late. Miami marched in for a touchdown on the opening possession. They recovered a Tony Dorsett fumble at the 16 and got another touchdown to take a 14-0 edge. Cowboys came back to make it 17-3. Your Fermian 45-yard field goal made it 17-0. Then set the end from 30 yards out, 17-3. A fumble punt at the 8, and your Fermian kicked another. It was 20-3 at the half, and set the end has two field goals here in the third quarter, and your Fermian won. So field goal fanatics throughout the world are thrilled with what's going on here. Here's your Fremian's kick. He scoots it on the ground, taken by David Stalls. And Stalls is written down on the right side. He fumbles, but goes back to pick it up at the 36-yard line. Herbert and Lawless recovered the fumble. Cowboys get it at the 36. I don't know whether your Fremian is deliberately stubbing that ball on the ground. I'm not sure. But the Cowboys get pretty good field position at the 36-yard line. 7.35 remaining. They've got to get seven, and they've got to get them quickly. Here comes Dallas. Drew Pearson comes wide left. He has caught one pass for 13 yards. Tony Hill is wide right. I set in the offensive backfield. Stavok will throw. Drops back. Looks for a screen pass to Dorsett. Tony almost caught from behind. Breaks the tackle. He's to the 50-yard line. He's to the 45 and knocked down at the 41-yard line. A little quick screen to Dorsett, and he used that great speed to break through potential tacklers. The Cowboys have a first down with 7-16 remaining in the game at the Miami 41-yard line. The hole's open, and they weren't going to be there long, but when you have speed and explosion like Dorsett, supposedly you don't need them, and he ran right through them and was finally slowed up and tripped short of the 40-yard line. That's a step in the right direction. Under seven minutes to go in the game. Tony Hill goes wide right. Drew Pearson comes wide left. I said again, the up and down by the offensive line, and Staubach will throw again. Four-man rush by Miami. He goes deep in the left corner. Drew Pearson is down there, open, and it's overthrown. Pearson was open in the end zone, and Staubach led him three yards too much. I'm also sure, not sure that uh, that Drew judged the ball quite right. And you're talking about a very fine timing thing, but Drew started his dive what looked like four or five yards early but but still that's such a minuscule timing thing down there that he was unquestionably overled with the pass Staubach and Greasy are almost even on stats for the day imagine that from when they started out Greasy had 159 yards at one point in the game and Staubach had three and now Roger has 179 yards passing on 12 out of 17 Greasy 12 out of 18 for 185 it's second down 10 at the Miami 41 yard line Cowboys come back trailing by 13 points 23-9. Drew Pearson left side, Tony Hill right side, Dorsett and Newhouse in the eye formation behind Staubach. Draw play is fake, Staubach's back to pass up in the pocket, rolls out to his right, pulls up, lets it fly, he's got Tony Hill open, Hill goes right, almost loses the first down, tries to get out of bounds and does it to 30. He lost three yards coming backwards, but he picked up the first down and kills the clock with 6.29 to go. First down at the Miami 30. That is Hill's fifth catch today. It's first down for the Cowboys on the 12-yard pickup. They trail 23 to 9 with 6.29 to go. Hill goes right. Pearson comes left. First down 10, Miami 30. Wide split behind Staubach with Dorsett and Newhouse. The blitz is not on. Rogers back to throw across the middle. Has Dupree at the 22. Billy Joe is driven back and then dumped but they'll give him forward contact or forward progress to the 21-yard line. He'll be very close. 
Rusty Chambers made the stop, but we're down to 6-10 and counting on the clock now. Dallas has got to get it in, then they've got to go for the onside kick or else hold Miami with no first downs. So the options, I mean the uh, tasks are formidable. It's second down and one at the 21. Here come the Cowboys. Pearson and Hill both go to the right side this time. Staubach under John Fitzgerald. Up and down, set offensive line. Rogers shifting again, has uh, Newhouse to the left side. He will throw, drops back, a three-man rush, looks for the screen, fires it out for Dorsett to the 20, the 15, he's to the 10, and knocked down at the eight-yard line. First and goal, Dallas at the eight-yard line. Rick Volk made the tackle, and here is where the Cowboys have been three times previously, and here is where they have fallen short. 5.24 to go in the game. And I don't know how you explain the fact that they're uh, short yardage you, you can't really call it goal line offense because but I guess maybe anything inside the 15 is goal line. Anyway, it, it hasn't been productive, but they've got a shot at it again. Here come the Cowboys. Drew Pearson goes wide right. Tony Hill comes wide left. It's first and goal at the eight. Staubach looks into the eyes of the Miami secondary. Has it and will throw. Four-man rush. He fires deep in the end zone. It's dropped by Billy Joe Dupree. May have been tipped by Rusty Chambers one yard deep. Stops the clock with 4.53 to go. It's second down and eight. Staubach now is 15 of 21 for 2.12. One interception, no touchdown passes. Cowboys do not have a touchdown today. Second and goal from the eight. Well, actually, it's more like the nine-yard line. The nose of the football is just across the nine. Pearson goes left. Hill goes, or rather, goes right, and so does Tony Hill. Up and down set again. Staubach. Fitzgerald, long count. Roger now has it. Fakes the draw. Goes, rolls out to his right. Up at the line of scrimmage. Caught! Touchdown! Billy Joe Dupree! Staubach has fired his 17th touchdown pass of 1978. The Cowboys are alive at 23-15 with 4.42 showing on the clock. That is Dupree's sixth touchdown catch. Step the end will try and make it 23-7-16. Tom Rafferty will center. Here's the center and the kick is up and it is through. There's a timeout on the field with 4.44 remaining in our score now. Miami 23, the Cowboys 16. Dallas Cowboys football continues after this word. Have you wondered what it took to coach UCLA to seven straight national championships? I'm Coach John Wooden, and it took teams like the one Ned Walker just put together for ASU and some luck. Seven lettermen returning plus five new players picked up in ASU's best recruiting year ever. It's the kind of team coaches sometimes dream about. ASU basketball running ahead of the pack. For season tickets, call 965-2381. ASU just might give the other coaches in the Pac-10 a few nightmares. The morning sports reporter here on KTAR. A veteran sportscaster, Dave has been a part of the Valley sports scene for many years, being involved with the Phoenix Suns, the Roadrunners, University of Arizona football, and the Phoenix Rackets. Staying abreast of the latest developments in the sports world is important to you. And by being involved with the people in the headlines, Dave is able to accomplish the main objective to keep you better informed. Listen to Dave Cannell on sports each morning here on KTAR. Cowboys have their first touchdown of the day. They get it on a nine-yard pass from Staubach to Billy Joe Dupree. Septiane will kick off, and with 4.44 remaining, I rather doubt that he'll go for the onside kick. So Miami is certainly looking for it. Duriel Harris is waiting at the 15. Here comes Seption. He does try the onside kick. No, he doesn't. He goes deep. That was the tee that was going nine yards. Here's the Duriel Harris up the left side and will be caught and spun out of bounds at the 21-yard line. That tee flew about 10 yards, and I thought that was the football. There's a flag down on the play. The Cowboys have the option, apparently, maybe offside Miami. And uh, that kill 10 seconds is 434 remaining. Here is Gordon McCarter, preliminary indication, personal foul against Miami. 
and that will should be half the distance call. It should be half the distance call. We'll see. The flag is up at the 41-yard line, and Harris was run out of bounds at the 21. <coughs> and the Cowboys are wanting to know whether they ought to kick it again. D.D. Lewis is out there looking over at Ernie Stutner. Here's the call. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Number 21. Kicking team. Decline. First foul. So it is declined by the Cowboys because it would have meant kicking the ball over and the Dolphins have it at the 21. So... Rick Volk has called for the foul. The Dolphins get it back with 434 remaining, and they've got it at the 21-yard line. Here comes Miami. No turnovers for the Cowboys today. Bob Greasy at the line. Andre Tillman comes tight to the right side. Leroy Harris is in there. The pitch out, Delvin Williams, comes right, cuts back, and is up to the 22. He picked up one yard. Clock will continue rolling with 426 to go in the game. Williams for the day has now carried 15 times for 22 yards, 16 times. He picked up one, it's second down and nine. Norm Bulash comes in. Greasy is 12 out of 18, has not been intercepted. None of the running backs have fumbled. 4.08 to go in the game. Clock unraveling. Leroy Harris is out, Bulash is in. Miami taking a long time in the huddle, now they break. It's 23 to 16. Greasy up. High formation, Tillman goes to the left side, is split in the backfield now, and Greasy has five seconds to call the snap, he will throw, he's back, up in the pocket, he's going to be caught and dropped by Ed Jones to the 16-yard line. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification, this is the Dallas Cowboys Radio Network. Wildcat football in the Pac-10, here on KTAR Phoenix. third down and 16 as Ed Jones gets his third sack of the day. We have 333 remaining in the game. Miami is one out of four on third down conversions. Gives you an idea of how few they've had to use. The Cowboys are five out of eight. Greasy, 12 out of 18 for 185. Has him at the line on third down, 16. Critical, critical play in the game. With 314 remaining. The handoff up the middle to Gary Davis. He is caught and dropped at the 19. It'll be a punting situation. So Greasy elected to stay very conservative there are three minutes and six seconds remaining, and the Cowboys will get it back. Now under three minutes, and the clock running. It's fourth down and 11. The Cowboys will get one more shot. They've got to have the touchdown and the extra point. If they get it, they can win it 24-23. 2.48 remaining. And George Roberts is back at the five-yard line. Cowboys apparently going for the return. Now we've got 2.38 remaining in the game. Butch Johnson waiting at the Cowboy 40-yard line. And the Dolphins taking an awful long time to snap the ball. Here's the snap to Roberts. No rush. He kicks it up fairly short. Johnson, it bounces and takes a Cowboy roll backwards and will be recovered at the 46-yard line of the Miami Dolphins and the Cowboys have a shot. It took a Dallas bounce backwards to the 47-yard line. Dallas gets it 47 yards away. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock, and they trail by six points. Or seven points. I just now realized that. I've been talking about 24-23. It's going to be 23-23. Where have I been, and why didn't anybody tell me I've been doing that? <laughs> we got to hope for overtime, don't we? Boy, it's, I know. I don't know. No, I can't explain it. I don't know what I was thinking about. Here come the Cowboys, 23-16 with 2.20 to go. They are at the 46, that's where it's been marked. Staubach looks straight ahead, makes the draw play, back to pass, looks right, has a man open, Dupree at the 32, and the Cowboys have a first down, but Dupree fumbles the ball. Miami has recovered, they come to the right side. At the 30-yard line, it's Norris Thomas, the can cornerback, Dorsett hauls him out of bounds to 40. and now they say the fumble stands. Dupree has fumbled with a first down at the 32-yard line. Miami 
first down. The fourth Cowboy turnover of the day. Dupree had a first down at the 31. Fumbled the ball when tackled. Norris Thomas picked it up. Dolphins get the ball back at the 40 with 2.03 remaining. Here come the Dolphins at the 40-yard line. So the opportunity apparently will go by the wayside and the Dolphins will try and run out the clock. Hand off. Leroy Harris knocked down at the 42. 159 to go. That'll be the two-minute warning. There's a timeout on the field with two minutes to go in our score. The Dolphins 23, the Cowboys 16. The Cowboys had a marvelous opportunity with a first down at the 32, but the pre fumbled. We tried to look at the Magnavox monitor over here to the left to see if indeed it was a fumble. It quite frankly could not tell. There was the obvious thought on the Cowboy bench that it, uh, it should have been ruled no fumble, that the tackle had been made. Billy Joe walking in agony over on the sideline, just pacing back and forth. Cannot believe it. It's second down eight, Miami. Greasy has him back at the line of scrimmage. Jim Langer is over the ball. Bob Greasy. Clock will not start until the snap. Here's the handoff. It goes to Delvin Williams. He gets four. There's a fumble. A scramble for the football, and I think Miami has recovered at the 47. They have indeed. It'll be third down and two. Timeout for the Cowboys with 148 remaining. Williams fumbled, but the Cowboys couldn't get to it. 23-16 with 148 remaining. And the Cowboys have one timeout left. It'll be third down and three Miami. And that marvelous field position that Dallas enjoyed will go by the wayside even if they can hold the Dolphins. Delvin Williams will come out of the game limping a little bit. For the day, 16 carries for 27 yards. <laughs> and he's hurting as he walks to the bench. Cowboys with one timeout to go. They fell behind 17-0 in the first quarter. It was 20-3 at the half. It's 23-16 now. Gary Davis and Jim Braxton are the new running backs. Greasy has talked it over with Don Shula. Now decides to go back for one more little bit of conversation. On third down and three with 1.48 to go. 48 remaining Dolphins back to the line of scrimmage on third down and three. Braxton and Gary Davis in the offensive backfield behind Bob Greasy. Blitz is threatened by the Cowboys. The handoff up close to Gary Davis. Cut down short of the first down at the 49-yard line. It'll be a punting situation for the Dolphins. The clock shows 1.40 remaining. And the Cowboys have not used their final timeout. It'll be fourth down, and now the officials call timeout to spot the ball. They killed the clock with 1.34 to go. Now they start the clock again. And the Cowboys will send uh, their punt return unit on. 1.26 to go. Perhaps I miscounted and they used all three. I thought they had one left. 1.20 to go. 15 seconds before the Dolphins have to punt, and they're going to probably let the clock expire and run down. They've got eight seconds uh, in which to punt it, and they're going to take the full 30, and that'll kill the clock with uh, about 102 to go in the game. There's the delay of game call right now. With 102 remaining, they'll mark off five yards against Miami, and the punt will come from the, or the ball will be spotted back at the 44-yard line. 1.02 to go. Cowboys had a first down at the 47 with 2.20 to go. Here's the call. Delay of game. Offense. Still fourth down. So George Roberts will punt. Cowboys, to my knowledge, have not blocked the punt this year. Blocked the, I don't think they have. And I don't know whether they'll come at it this time or not. Roberts is back at the 29. Butch Johnson waits for it at the 15 of the Cowboys with 1.02 to go. has everybody spread out. They are not in tight, and it looks like they are coming. Long delay, and here's the snap, and here comes the rush, and Roberts gets the kick away. Nice, high, deep kick. Fair catch called. Butch Johnson has it at the 16-yard line. So the Cowboys have it 84 yards away and 54 seconds to get there.
29-yard punt by George Roberts. Fair caught by Butch Johnson at the 16. 54 seconds remaining in the game. 23-16, Dolphins lead. The Cowboys have been the dominant force for the final three quarters, but that 17-0 lead in the first quarter, just too much to overcome. Dallas will go from the spread, obviously. Drew Pearson comes left. Tony Hill goes right. Preston Pearson and Dorsett in the backfield. Roger Staubach is five yards back, a three-man rush for Miami. They've got to prevent defense in. Everybody is deep. The snap back to Staubach. He goes once, now flips the pass out, and it is dropped by Dorsett. That used up six seconds, 48 uh, seconds remaining in the game. And quite frankly, had Tony caught the ball, I don't think he was going very far. But the option, of course, is to get him into the open. We're using those great moves and that speed and hope he can get upfield and out of bounds to kill the clock. Second down, 10. Cowboys trailing by seven. 23-16, our score. 48 seconds to go. Drew Pearson comes left. Tony Hill goes right. Dupree is off the line to the left side. Spread formation once again. Roger back in the pocket. Three-man rush. He now steps up in the pocket. Goes deep left side. Overthrows Drew Pearson in the Miami bench. It'll be third and ten. Forty-one seconds to go. And if Miami wins this, we may hear some kind of roar here in the Orange Bowl. I'm told. 41 seconds remaining. 23-16. Dallas with the third down 10 at the 17. 16-yard line. So they're down to their final two plays unless they can get the first down on this uh, next one. Or the fourth down play. Hill comes left. Drew Pearson goes right. Cowboys in danger of falling to 6-4 and four for the year. Fitzgerald over the ball. Roger Staubach hands on his knees. Now takes the snap and drops back the three-man rush again. Roger takes it all day. Now runs out of the pocket, fires it up. It's caught, dropped by Dupree. Billy Joe had it in his hands and dropped it for the first down in sight at the 31-yard line. It'll be fourth down. He had the first down at the 32. Coverage by Rick Volk, but Volk didn't have to do anything. It's fourth down and 10. Rafferty brings the play in. 33 seconds to go. So Staubach has been unsuccessful on three straight plays, but two of them have been drops and one an overthrow. He's 17 of 26 for 236. And on what could be the final offensive play for Dallas, they break the huddle and come up. Shotgun formation, fourth and ten. They've got to have the 27-yard line. Long count by Staubach and the snap. The three-man rush again. Roger is back up in the pocket. Drills the fist. Caught by Preston Pearson at the 35 to 40. He is to the 45 and is down at the 50-yard line. First down, 10 Dallas. With 22 seconds remaining. Dallas is out of timeout. They will go from the shotgun formation. Hill right side. Drew Pearson left. Low snap for Staubach. He picks it up and drops back. Flag is down as Roger pulls up and lets it fly on the right side. Caught by Dupree and he's out of bounds. There is a flag down. Billy Joe has a first down at the 39, but hold on, let's check the infraction. Offside, Miami. The Cowboys will decline the call and take the first down at the 39. 14 seconds to go. And they will decline the offside call and take the first down 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's it is. Offside, number 50 on the defense, declined, first down. That's Larry Gordon, the linebacker, who was offside for the Dolphins. The Cowboys have another first down at the 39-yard line. Starbuck now with 281 yards on 19 of 28. Roger has had a tremendous day. He's got one touchdown. The Cowboys have only 14 seconds remaining now. They've got the ball at the 39-yard line. Could it possibly be Hail Mary time again? Drew is wide left. Tony Hill wide right. Starbuck, five-yard step. Here's the snap, a good one. The four-man rush by the Dolphins. Rogers up in the pocket. Caught, pulls up, lets it go right side, and it's incomplete out of bounds. He fired for Dupree. Four-man rush by Miami. We have six seconds to go. The Cowboys have time for one play. 
possibly, possibly two. Six seconds remaining. And we'll try it again. In 1976, in the Super Bowl here, Dallas was in about this same position on the field, and Roger went deep in the right corner of the end zone for a young man named Percy Howard. The ball was tipped incomplete. There were those who thought interference should have been called. It was not. We've got almost similar circumstances now as Dallas comes up to the line of scrimmage for what could be the final play of the regular game. John Fitzgerald looks back at Rogers. Six seconds remaining, and the folks are at the line. Drew Pearson wide left. Tony Hill wide right. A three-man run. Robach can't find anybody open. Scrambles out. Now up. Fires deep. Into the end zone. It is intercepted. Picked off at the three-yard line. The clock has expired. The game is over. Tony Hill was open in the end zone. The pass was a little bit underthrown. The Dolphins win it. Now this is Vern Lundquist along with Brad Sham and our producer Gary Brandt saying thanks for joining us and stay tuned for the postgame show. Again, our final score, the Cowboys 16, Miami 23. This is the Dallas Cowboys Radio Network. Good afternoon once again, everybody. Vern Lundquist back in the Cowboy broadcast booth at the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida, where Dallas has fallen for the fourth time this year. And it was a situation very similar to the game against Minnesota. They've now lost two in a row as they go from 6-2 to 6-4, falling behind 17-0 in the first quarter and eventually losing it by a score of 23-16. to In that first quarter, Miami took the opening kickoff and immediately marched downfield. They began at their own 27-yard line. Greasy hit a pass on the left side to Duriel Harris. And then on a second down and seven from the 37, he found Delvin Williams, who ran 48 yards. And here's Greasy to throw. No blitz by the Cowboys. Greasy comes in the right flat, caught by Delvin Williams. Takes it back with the 50. To the 40, to the 30. Now being chased by Waters at the 20 and caught from behind at the 11-yard line. Ultimately, they had a first and goal at the one as Duriel Harris caught a pass for 10 yards. On second down and goal, former TCU great Norm Bulash got the first touchdown of the game. Again, the double tight end set, this time a regular set behind Bob Greasy. Greasy has it, handoff Bulash, touchdown Miami. Left guard, six points. Extra point good, Miami took an early 7-0 lead. Tony Dorsett on his first play from scrimmage this afternoon fumbled at the Cowboy 15-yard line on a second down and 12. That was the second game in which he has done that on his first carry. Last week it was at the 38 against Minnesota. Bob Baumhauer recovered, and the Dolphins had to only go 15 yards for their second touchdown of the game. It came on a third down and goal from the Cowboy one. Up front, Harvey Martin, Randy White, Jethro Pugh, and Ed Jones. Here comes Miami. They have the 7-0 lead and a third and goal from the one-foot line. Again, the slot to the right side. Bulash directly behind Bob Greasy. Williams to the left. Greasy has begun the count. As it hands it off to Delvin Williams, drives and scores of a right guard. It's 13-0 Miami. Extra point by Yepremian was good. And with barely five and a half minutes gone in the game, the Cowboys were down 14-0. They couldn't move once more and uh, still did not have their first first down. Had the punt. Miami took over at their own seven-yard line. But they immediately started right down the field. The key play in the drive was a second down and 20 from the Dolphin 36. Greasy will throw. Blitz is coming. He's going deep across the middle. Tillman's out there all by himself. Has the ball at the Cowboy 31. Johnny Waters let him go. Tillman with a huge gain. It was a gain of 33 and a first down at the Cowboy 31-yard line. Ultimately, the Dolphins had to settle for a 45-yard field goal from Garo Yopremian. They got it. And at the end of the first quarter, Dallas trailed by a score of 17-0. They took over with 14 seconds remaining in the first quarter and put together a march that uh, consumed 10 minutes and 7 seconds. But all they got out of it was three. The key play was the third down and two at the Miami 15. Preston Pearson in the backfield in place of Dorsett. Roger Staubach in the cockpit has it. Draw play, Preston Pearson comes right to the 10, to the 5. Driving first and goal, Dallas at the 3. They had that first down and goal, but Newhouse was stopped for no gain. Then he lost two, and on third down and goal, Staubach was sacked for a loss of eight by A.J. Dewey. So Raphael Septien came on and kicked a field goal of 30 yards to narrow the count to 17-3. to three. But the Cowboys then held Miami, and Miami had to punt, and Butch Johnson fumbled for the Cowboys at the eight-yard line. 
George Roberts will punt from the 20. Here's the snap, and the return is on. A left-footed kicker hangs it high. Nice kick. Butch Johnson has it at the 22, and he fumbles the ball. It's going to be chased and picked up by the Dolphins at the 7-yard line. They couldn't score, but the turnover did result in another Euphemian field goal, this time from 23 yards out. That made it 20-3, to and that's where it was at halftime. Cowboys down 20-3 to at uh, the end of the first half. They received the kick, and uh, vitally important that they establish control of the game. They did control much of the second quarter, despite the fact they got only the three points. And they did do just that. They took over at their own 24-yard line following the kickoff return and moved to the Cowboy 36, where on second down and 10, Roger Staubach hit Tony Hill with a 53-yard pass. Roger will throw. Three-man rush. Delayed blitz now. Roger wants it all going deep for Tony Hill. Hill way downfield. Cut! A great catch by Tony Hill at the 11-yard line. It was reminiscent of the catch Butch Johnson made in the Super Bowl last year. A tremendous diving catch with Tony Hill parallel to the ground, two feet up. However, once again, the Cowboys down inside the 15 could not get in for the touchdown. On the first down play, Staubach was sacked for a loss of 11 by A.J. Dewey. That pretty well set the tone. And then on a third down play from the 20, Staubach's pass for a wide open Tony Hill in the end zone was knocked away by Norris Thomas to uh, hold the Cowboys out of the end zone. So Septien came on to kick his second field goal, this from 39 yards out, and that cut the uh, lead to 20 to 6. Cowboys held Miami and got the ball back with 8.20 to go in the third quarter and uh, seemed to be moving for the touchdown again. From the Miami 41, it was Tony Hill with the key play on that drive. Hill left side, Drew Pearson right side. Eye formation, now the shift, door set, goes back into the eye. Cowboy offensive line is set, the draw play is fake to door set. Rogers back to throw, looks deep across the middle, flag is down as he lets it go, it's caught by... Tony Hill, Hill to the 20, to the 15, now to the 10, and runs out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Uh, the flag was against Miami for holding. It was declined by the Cowboys, a gain of 30 for Tony Hill. On two catches, he had picked up 83 yards in the third quarter, and Miami, uh, the Cowboys had a first down at the 11, but once again could not go. Newhouse picked up five at right. Dorsett, no gain on second down and five. They tried to draw play on third down and five from the six for a gain of only one. So Septian came on and kicked it. And that cut the margin to 20 to 9. That was the score at the end of the third quarter of play. Miami took over with 11.52 remaining in the fourth quarter at the Cowboy 49 yard line following a punt by Jimmy, uh, or a fair catch by Jimmy Cepelo. And they moved down to another Garo Upremian field goal. Key play on third down and 17 at the Cowboy 28. Delvin Williams got them close enough to kick it. Up and down set. <laughs> Draw play up the middle. Delvin Williams up to the 14-yard line. He will not have enough for the first down, but he will be in range for Garo Yapremian, and there is an injured cowboy back up at the 33. That is as alert as you have ever been to know when I'm going to cough. Thank you, Brad. And Brad picked up the play-by-play. -play. Delvin Williams did uh, get caught short, but uh, Yapremian kicked it through from 33 yards to make the final, or rather the score at that time. 23-9, Miami out on top. Cowboys got it back with 7.35 to go in the game. They took over following the kickoff at their own 36-yard line. On first down, Roger Staubach hit Tony Dorsett on a screen pass. Tony Hill is wide right. Eye set in the offensive backfield. Staubach will throw. Drops back. Looks for a screen pass to Dorsett. Tony almost caught from behind. Breaks the tackle. He's to the 50-yard line. He's to the 45 and knocked down at the 41-yard line. First down, 10. Pass intended for Drew Pearson, overthrown. Then Staubach kicked, uh, picked up Tony Hill for 11 and a first down. Then uh, at, <coughs> at the 30-yard line, another pass, and finally he hit Dorsett on a screen play. Up and down, set offensive line. Rogers shifting again, has uh, Newhouse to the left side. He will throw. Drops back, a three-man rush, looks for the screen, fires it out for Dorsett to the 20, the 15, he's to the 10, and knocked down at the 8-yard line. And on second down from the eight-yard line, Roger Staubach scrambling to his right, got the Cowboys on the board for the first time today in the touchdown area. Up and down set again. Staubach, Fitzgerald, long count. Roger now has it, fakes the draw, goes, rolls out to his right, up at the line of scrimmage, caught, touchdown, Billy Joe Dupree. Extra point was good to cut the margin to 23-16, and that's when my addition went south. And I began to think the Cowboys could score and kick an extra point and take the lead 24-23.
That doesn't work in this league, folks. At any rate, the Cowboys did get a good opportunity. They got it back with 2.20 remaining at the 47-yard line of the Miami Dolphins following a very short punt by George Roberts. The Cowboys went to Dupree, but misfortune hit again. Here come the Cowboys, 23-16 with 2.20 to go. They are at the 46. That's where it's been marked. Staubach looks straight ahead, makes the draw play, back to pass, looks right, has a man open, Dupree at the 32, and the Cowboys have a first down, but Dupree fumbles the ball. Miami has recovered. They come to the right side. At the 30-yard line, it's Norris Thomas, the can cornerback. Dorsett hauls him out of bounds to 40. So that really hurt the Cowboys because they would have been at the 32 with plenty of time, over two minutes remaining, and uh, two of their timeouts remaining. But they had to use timeouts. They did hold Miami. Took over at their own 16-yard line with a minute to go and uh, one timeout left. On a fourth down, 10 play, Roger Staubach did manage to hit Preston Pearson. Long count by Staubach and the snap, the three-man rush again. Roger is back up in the pocket, drills the fist. Caught by Preston Pearson at the 35 to 40. He is to the 45 and is down at the 50-yard line. First down, 10 Dallas. Dallas got to the 39-yard line. They were out of timeouts, and with six seconds remaining, Roger had no choice but to go deep into the end zone, and it didn't work. Drew Pearson wide left, Tony Hill wide right. A three-man rush, Staubach can't find anybody open, scrambles out, now up, fires deep. Into the end zone, it is intercepted. <laughs> I think there was a little dejection there. I'm not sure. <laughs> At any rate, the uh, attempted comeback falls short by seven points, and the Cowboys lose it by a score of 23-16.